be pretty decent. I'm g- I'm gonna have a heated gamer moment on your on your newly <laughs> newly made Twitch stream unknown. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> heated gamer moment. You know, that's yeah. yeah. It's literally what I have at least every other day. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, so welcome to the pseudo electrical podcast. I'm your host Six, and today Five, we have Stuffy. Four, three, two. No, we don't. One. Okay. Uh, Naretsu. Yo, sup, lads? How's it going? And the Legend of the Galactic Heroes called Pause and Select. Uh, so, Stuffy, what's the name of that Warhammer channel you're talking about? <laughs> Even when Plot's uh, not here! Okay. Even when Plot's not here! It's I'm still not happening! Well. You, you, uh, well, you might as well okay. he, does, he basically takes the wiki and then completely rewrites it to where he's telling a story instead of just reading it off. Wait, you said Unknown Imperialis? Oculus Imperialis. Oh, Oculus Imperialis. Yeah. All right, cool. He's, yeah. he's actually cool. good. Un- unknown, you might, as, you might as well rebrand your fucking entire internet persona to 40k. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, half the time I'm either playing Warframe or painting Warhammer figs while we're doing this anyway, so... I'm doing some drawing, so I'm, 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 I'm concentrating. Though I'll, I'll, I'll be concentrating enough, you know, talk about the things. Yeah. All right. There, mean, there we go. I sent it on Twitter and I sent it on Discord, so yeah, people should be uh, coming in now. Noise. But it sounds like you were fucking re- watching 40k theories. Yeah, 40K who is theories, legitimately yeah. terrible. Yeah. <laughs> He's really bad. That sounds about right. Are you sure? 40, 40. Ni- 90% of his videos are like fucking, Maybe. oh, 40, 40 facts about Warhammer 40k. And it's not even like a countdown or anything. He's just like reading the wiki or some shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, yeah, that it's was like, one of those videos. I was just like, oh my god, it's so bad. Five, Dude, he's five, literally three, the worst two, one. in the group. <laughs> Like, I watched him for a while, just because it was like, fuck it, like, this is, like, it's it's an easy way to digest the shit, right? Honestly, like, the trick it's, is, it's you watch lazy. him until YouTube figures out you're, like, 40k, and then they start recommending good channels. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all, honestly. It's same with watching Arch. And the anime. Uh, Arch is not too bad. <laughs> But Arch doesn't. Arch hasn't. Has Arch even done much Warhammer lore lately? Like I think he's busy. No, he's busy doing uh, other shit. Yeah. yeah. To be yeah. fair, I think he figured out why the quartering figured out, and that's there's a lot more surrounding the culture that you can make money off of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think that's wrong. But anyway, um, yeah, we're, we're we're gonna do an anime podcast apparently. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, sometime this hour. Sometime within the next, you know, wee bit. And uh, I'll say that Border Prince is pretty good. He do- takes the short stories from Black Library and just reads them, but he does decent narration. And we, so we're going to talk about the uh, the recent uh, controversy about uh, a certain anime, which uh, might get us banned on Twitch, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, but Fun- Funimation has pretty much been the go, been more of a go to than Fuck Crunchyroll, so. Well, it's like, don't, just don't give money to parasites. You know, you just you don't want to do it. It's not, it's not yeah. healthy. No, give money to me. I don't care. Yeah, but you're not a parasite, though. Under- I don't know about <laughs> that. I mean, aren't all I mean... Twitch streamers parasites? <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, don't give money to dirt worms. <laughs> oh, okay. There, that's better. <laughs> okay, so uh... no one else watches those streams. Oh man, one of the funny things I tweets I saw was just fucking um what's his name? The guy that owns Faku. Five. Jacob four, or something. Three, he put out a tweet that was just like cowards and then someone was like, um, oh who should I give my money to? And he's like, give your money to Faku and I'm like, Oh yeah, of course you <sighs> <laughs> I don't like. I don't, I'm not like, saying I don't like Jacob. I don't like him. Try to get back the more legitimate sources. I'm just saying, fucking buy a plane ticket and go to Comic Cat. Yeah, like, 
at this point you're not wrong honestly like there are a couple i think there's a new website called a 2d market where you can buy dojins now which apparently is pretty good um so i'd recommend that but yeah, also it's... boycott dojins until makuro comes back <laughs> So, um, yeah, so we're talking about uh, the recent controversy in interspecies reviewers. Interspecies reviewers. <laughs> yes. I, I, um, I was wondering if we were going to get back to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's just about interspecies erotica. Uh, well, that's kind of what the show is. It's um, a bunch, so I'll, I'll do this because I've watched All right. re- up you, to you now. You started right? off in yeah. yeah, Yeah, I've, I've watched up to the most recent episode, so I, I'm in a pretty good position. The show centers around... Um, these, Five, these these guys, four, right? And three, these guys and a hermaphroditic angel. <laughs> and uh, they basically just go around in this fantasy city and they, they go to each of the brothels and they okay. review, you they review, they review started, their experience. And I can already say Funimation should just have not picked this up. So, yeah, so they <laughs> go around to these different brothels and each episode you get like maybe like three or three or maybe two different reviews from different places so one episode will be like oh they they go to the bird girl brothel and then they'll go to the salamander brothel and then they'll go to the cowgirl brothel right and they'll they'll try all the different types and you get in it's 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 framed in a very humorous and kind of explorative like you know what 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 if this was a thing right what, what if there were people out there just reviewing these brothels what well, how would it, you know, transpire? So I, I've been quite enjoying it. I think it's a very funny, uh, entertaining little little show to watch. Um, and apparently, it uh, doesn't meet uh, Funimation's uh, standards. Apparently, it's not, it's not, it's t- not, not good. Doesn't enough. meet their core values, dude. Yeah, yeah the dude. core it's... values, just like you know that one show called. Wait, does doesn't Funimation have the license to what's it called? My um, it's the one with the student council. My wife is a student council member. Is doesn't they have? I, was, I told you this earlier. That oh yeah, Sentai. it's that Sentai. Never mind. I mean, Funimation <laughs> does have DXD. Yeah, they right. have DXD. They have. So that, I mean, mermaid. I would have gone with Funimation. Does have Sig- Stigmata no Quasar? Yes, okay, no Quasar. Yeah, That's yeah. So, so good, but they have that fully censored. Like. <sighs> God, that's they sucks. still have not. <laughs> Literally, if you're watching that, why Look, watch the censored? Why would you yeah. ever watch? They the censored would exactly draw that mermaid, dude. Like, <laughs> that's the thing is, okay, they have the rights to Valkyrie Drive Mermaid. Yeah, they do. But that's they another one. All of Val- Valkyrie Drive Mermaid. They have the yeah. rights to a lot of really shitty, etchy shit, and they so censor it all. So oh, that kinda... stupid one that came out. Around the same time as the Seven Deadly Sins, it has like the seven oh the seven mortal oh, sins. Oh yeah, this, yeah, English, yeah, I like, watched that. Like, yeah, that one's that one's like, just pure fucking. Why? Thing. Yeah, why does this exist other in a censored form? Because yeah. it's not entertaining. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it's like, why would you even pick up a censored license? I don't understand. But like, so so yeah, so the the, the controversy that happened was Funimation decided, hey. Um, with this apparently this doesn't adhere to our core values and so what they tried to do was take it down quietly right they did the most the most big brain move ever and just scrubbed the entire existence of them having the show from their website and their um uh the their streaming service and everything and then somebody uh emailed the tech support and was like hey where where the fuck did the show go <laughs> And then it, um, they were just like, yeah, no, well, it didn't meet our standards, and uh, yeah, we're we, we're just gonna, you know, just gonna quietly sort of shove it under the rug, you know, you just, you know, as you do. So, um, yeah, that happened, and then everyone got mad at Funimation, and now we're currently where we are now. They Pretty should, cool. dude. That show fucking is balling. It is very bowling. Yeah, I, very I think good. there was a lot of balls watching that show. Well, I mean, there <laughs> is actually, because um, Clem, the angel, there's quite a lot of bulge <laughs> shown in that show. <laughs> you you get, get to see a lot of that angel bulge, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> that was the show, man. <laughs> it's a good show. Hey, it's a good show. So, um, 
so yeah, what are you guys' theories, right? Because I have my theory. My theory is that um, somebody really high up the food chain was not happy about the show and called. Oh, called I, the show. I, I, all right, yeah. I, I honestly but, think this is what happened. They wanted to make money off of it off the side. Here's my, one of my two things. They wanted to make money off of it on the side, and they didn't think it was going to gather much attention. And it became the most talk show of the season. And then they're like, oh, shit, this is bad for our marketing or our brand. So they're going to get rid of it. They wanted it to not uh, get all that attention. Because, you know, people don't, they t- people talk about harems and whatnot, but it's not to, like, an extreme extreme extent that people actually pay attention to they just consume and go to the next one and i think mm. either that is what was happening they thought it was just going to go under the rug or or this is the hey, other thing don't talk shit about my mon <laughs> oh, i am actively engaged in mon <laughs> or or as i know was saying the other idea could be that they are actually that incompetent it didn't know. I, I I refuse to believe that. I don't think that um because here's the thing: in order to get the license to the show, right, in order, in order to not only dub but sub at least what three episodes before they canned it, right? <laughs> they would have had to have gotten synopsis. They would have had to have gotten descriptors. They would have had to have gotten like Five, materials for four, them to kind of do. Three, like the, the fucking two, marketing material one. for the show right mm-hmm. they would have gotten like here's the basic guideline of what we want right i i refuse to believe they probably didn't do enough they research didn't, they probably no, no, didn't I, think no, there was I, going to be I, I, no, I can't. I can't believe that they would. I mean, after, I would believe after, it. After, uh, no, after, kinda... after, after, how many episodes they covered, right? <laughs> if this was like, you know, they put out the first episode and they did it, then I could be like, okay, yeah, maybe they didn't do it. But they, they not only subbed, but they dubbed like three or four episodes, and that means they would have had to have already known by that point, right? Like, if, if they hadn't have known, then I think they would have pulled the plug way sooner than they did, is what I'm getting at, right? Doesn't make sense to me for them to just be like, oh, yeah, well, we'll, we'll spend all of this money and all of these resources into this show only to pull it because we didn't know what it actually was, right? So that's why I, mean, I feel I like this. I don't think Funimation's competently run. You're, you're well, thinking ne- of this well, as if it never. is competently well, run. Well, me neither, but, like, I'm trying to, like... I, I shouldn't give them the benefit of the doubt, but I'm trying to give them the benefit. I'm of the giving doubt, them right? the benefit. Of the Wait, doubt is it the benefit terrible. of the doubt to assume that they? <laughs> uh, hold yeah, on, that's I need what to I was saying. Words. It's the benefit <laughs> of the doubt that they're actually just terribly ran. That is but, the actual like, benefit of the doubt. All right. Okay. Like, what I actually like, think happened is like the same five or ten this. people who read all the time read, and they went, "Oh shit, we we got caught." Well, but they thought this would turn a pro. Of course, this is going to be profitable. Yeah, yeah, but th- but that's the- that's what makes it. That's why I think it's something higher up the food chain because I don't think it would have just been like let's say you know Monocurial or someone like that reading about it and being like oh this is bit- I'm-, I'm-, I'm triggered right get rid of it like this is a decision that would have had to have come from someone really high up the food chain because there's a lot of money involved right like it's not like it's not just fucking chimp change to buy the license to this show i don't know it depends on who hire, you are hire hire subbers to can we know, just have mr cynical buy out funimation i hate him. no because now they have too many money okay <laughs> uh, the thing is uh, ooh, i i really they're kind of dumb they are yeah I'm not. I'm not denying that. Like, I'm not. I'm not like. I'm not denying that. I'm just saying Ooh. that I feel like the decision. Let me read. Some. Like this wouldn't have just been a bottom so bottom up d- 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 decision. Uh, members when Dragon Maid fought patriarchy. Am- <laughs> Amazon review the anime because the dub fans are cancer. <laughs> One man guess they would uh, rather watch censored content than watch something else. <laughs> Let me bring oh, up man. the stream because I didn't have the stream open, so I might as well yeah, um, say yeah, hi to the chat. Yeah, I, I don't have the stream open, so you uh, y'all are gonna have to update me on this because I'm watching BB Tech streams right now. Of uh, course. So, but yeah, no, that's that's kind of where I'm at, right? I'm at the point like where I I just can't believe that it's not like a top level decision 
because it's like it's not it's not like oh well i'm gonna like censor this dialogue or whatever i'm gonna do you know i'm script writer i'm gonna do whatever the fuck i want this is like a like a decision that actually is gonna cost a shitload of money so it kind of has to be someone that's really high up which is where sony kind of comes into the picture doesn't it because sony is the you know they technically own funimation so that's if i wanted to go a bit more conspiracy on it i could say well maybe sony had something to do with it but you know i kind of sit there and think that right now the last thing they want is um a controversy yeah well so if you just the problem with that is is they've already done it (laughs) yeah but if you get a hundred people spurging spurging out on them they're see, gonna shut it down. See, that's the thing. I didn't see anyone spurging out about it. I, I actually like I'd seen like maybe one Twitter account that had posted some like feminist lens review of the show where they were like flipping back and forth between like, oh, this show's amazing because it's like it's pro sex workers and showing sex workers with agency and then flipping to oh no nah, i take it all back it's transphobic because of episode three and oh no nah, fuck it oh, no nah. and then flipping back around again and going oh shit clem is lgbt rep fuck yeah yeah it's awesome yeah fuck you know like so okay. i don't actually who I don't... is making these reviews because that sounds amazing <laughs> i'll find the tweet i'll find the tweet i'll give you the tweet um let me go yeah. find it uh because i remember seeing it in a chat recently someone oh, that's so it. good uh i'll find it because it is actually really fucking funny because it's like um they start off like oh sorry my phone's gone off they started off being oh yeah i found it i found it i found it i found it (laughs) okay uh so uh so it was like a live some feminist twitter whatever doing like a live reaction tweet thing right all right, where is the chat? There it is. Okay. All right, I'll put it in there so we can we can read it. All right. So this is this is interspecies reviews from the feminist lens. <laughs> this is why I wish it was a movie so that I could just go with the Kojima test. Reviewing review <laughs> normalizing sex work through Monster Girls. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very, very, uh, it's a very much pure Monster Girl fetish content with the anime being raunchy enough to avoid considering, be, be, raunchy enough to avoid be considering, oh fuck, they don't even know how to structure words correctly, god damn. I mean. Um, <laughs> well, yes, the protagonist is Sleazy Seekers Contest Monos Men. Um, I think it has generally, a, has a generally respectful approach to its depiction of full sex service sex workers. The term sucky girl <laughs> in place of escort is quaint and all of the women, while bad mouthed by some characters based off it just not being there kinked, um, are praised and respected uh, in contrast to the distasteful kink shaming. <laughs> <laughs> the artists and anim- anim- animators on the show definitely seem like they had fun bringing life to the world. Also, a pretty alright portrayal of uh, intersex person <laughs> within, a, within an erotic story. I know story. a person that would love this uh, show. Um, K- Krim, an angel, is intersex. Well, I guess intersex, if you count. I would, I would say. Hey, so was that right. teacher in Bible Black? I wouldn't actually say. I wouldn't say. Okay, no, that's not interesting. (laughs) The reason I wouldn't say interesting is because, like, I think hermaphrodite would be the more accurate term because they just have both parts. It's not like a gender thing, it's a biological thing. Oh, yeah. Um, I forgot that. Hey, careful saying that on Twitch. Yeah. Um, So the next tweet is and while they are also objectified on. um, isn't uh, discriminated against um, for the, although they are also objectified. It isn't isn't discriminated against for the agenda. They are intentionally intersex, um, and like the other main characters, have normal sexual experiences, which are also normalized instances of playing paying for sex work. Hell yeah, okay. 
Um, that's also a great thing in this show. These men don't haggle. They don't try to kick their way into sex. They they pay for sex. They follow the rules. They write about it. They get others wanting to patron the sucky girls, albeit their sexual conquest is rewarded in their reviews. So see, it's weird because it's like they're, they're complimenting the show. I feel the like show. this person is missing key aspects of the show. Yeah, it's like they're complimenting the show, but then they just have to like throw that fucking backhand in there, you know, like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, it's normalizing sex work, but but the male's sexual conquest is bad, okay? You know, like it's, it's like you make up your mind. Um all right, next tweet. Well, um Barry Barry Barry. I, I, mean, like, uh, I feel like I feel like those two different opinions can exist without contradicting each other. I, I well, guess, can, but, but it's I guess, but it's like I think they're missing the fact that the reason they're not haggling is because it's tax it's a write off. That well, should that, the business expense. You'll get reimbursed. Actually, actually, <laughs> actually, that's not wrong because they get paid for the reviews. They do. They get. They do. They get paid based on how many people like read and take the reviews and spread them around. Okay. So technically, technically, you're not wrong that it's even a better. They probably get reimbursed by the company they work for. <laughs> and then the money they spent is a tax write-off, right? Um, because okay. it is an expenditure to commit to conduct your business, right? So barring barring the customers to the pub, you might even frequently. be able to write it off again as a business dinner. Okay, so barring barring customers to the pub, they frequent, and the three main characters reserve receiving pay for that. It's not in a way that detracts or steals from the profits of sex workers. Uh, but seeing glowing reviews from clients is something that can be helpful, but it's completely unrealistic to continued make a career out of reviewing parlors and sex workers while the main human of the show stunk is generally respectful enough as you could imagine a garbage dude <laughs> who at least pays for his porn would be his advances on Mirami, the the bird girl um the bar ki- bar the bar pip keep whatever bar oh, bar oh they're trying to say bar parakeet because it's a bird um are, are very awful uh Mirami, the uh, service workers in general definitely deserve way more respect than they are given uh bird girls are adorable and should be protected and i'll fight anyone who tweets at me otherwise fair enough um not okay, to spoil just about bar attendees uh, but so on the topic of like uh unlike the the bird girl right um i do uh i do think that observation that they make about the bird girl is actually uh really uh important Hmm. but not necessarily uh how can i describe it like um, it's it's valid but maybe not in the way they think i think i think the bird girl observation is really interesting but also really important that like it really does kind of like inadvertently reveal like who at least one of the characters is right because um like he sexually harasses the bird girl which kind of like makes me a little bit uneasy because if it was just like them going to like brothels and reviewing brothels i'd be like oh okay this is just like standard like commodification practice not that like commodification like Mm. in this context is like oh you know it bad you know kind of thing right but it's just like they're treating it like a product right you know um it's like no different but like but then he like sort of extends that into like harassing uh this like woman who is clearly not in the sex work uh industry you know Mm. and that's the thing that like makes me a little uneasy if if it was just if it was just the, it was, it was just, if it was just the brothels, I'd be like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, all right, yeah, sure, Four, I can live with this. Three, two. All right, no, no, one. I think that's fair. Um, but I that's would only say, one character. Yeah, I would say that the when you you bring up the commoditization, right? I feel like when we're talking about something in the in the sense that it is a review, I feel like there's always going to be a little bit of a sense of that because you're taking like because let's be real, the 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 sex work is a service, right? And at the end of yes. the day, the, the value of a service is dependent entirely on the subjectivity of the person paying for the service, technically, right? Like, you could pay for something and then think that it wasn't worth it, while someone else could pay for something and think that it is worth it, which is why 
reviews in the sense of this particular universe are useful because people can go, oh, so this reviewer that, that is a human or whatever went to this particular type of girl and had a pretty good time. Maybe I'll have a pretty good time too, or the opposite, right? So, yeah, yeah I, I feel like, yeah, you're going to get a little bit of that regardless. Um, I think, so. uh, yeah, I, I should probably clarify to like anybody who is potentially like confused as to like what I mean by commodification. Like, I don't mean that like, the woman's body in this situation are being commodified. What I mean no, that like the act yeah. of sex itself is commodified, which is like it's not an inherently sexist position. It, it, it's it's you it's you, just, you're hi you're hiring a plumber for the service of them yeah. doing the service. It's the same with sex work, right? It's it's you're hiring a I, I don't know how to describe it. Like it's, a service member. I just member, find it hilarious. Right? You're comparing it to a plumber. Well, you're hiring human labor. <laughs> you know, is a plumber. Yeah, you're though. hiring. Yeah, yeah, human labor. Yeah, yeah. Joe's yeah. right. Human labor, right? You're hiring. You're hiring like someone to do something for you, right? In a sense, yeah. right? It, it it just so happens that in this particular case, that activity is sexual gratification right that's yes it's just just how it is so i'm um, continuing the tweet fred um not to spoil a cute gag from the second episode but i can also highlight the uh, this is in caps the political action of sex workers both organizing unions and a party um talk about radical married to mother's basement <laughs> talk about radical but fuck yes we should have a sex route se we should we should have sex workers running for parliament decriminalize and normalize now that's that's a funny tweet for me because in new zealand um sex work is perfect like brothels are perfectly legal it's actually classified as a proper job and you get you can get apply for tax benefits and stuff if you um work because they, they wanted to get they want to get people off the street so they essentially mm -hmm. said, right, okay, you can, if you get a license, you can run a, you know, massage parlor slash brothel or whatever you call it, right? And, you know, you can have girls work, but the girls have to have, you know, the same benefits as, you know, some, any other kind of job, right? They get, you know, insurances and, you know, safety, work health and safety, that kind, that kind of stuff. And um, mm -hmm. that's, that's fine. It's I thought those the, things fucking... were reserved for humans. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Cannot believe you're just like, oh yeah, you know, don't say anything that will get me canceled on Twitch. Oh yeah. I said banned. <laughs> hey, I just made a statement. I didn't say anyone is not a human. Oh, I'm just man. saying those so, things are reserved. For I just I, I yeah, just okay. find you it keep, I just you keep telling just, yourself that. All right. The thing here is I just find it interesting um how the how they're framing this, right? Because in the actual show it's um the monsters are doing like an election thing or something to decide what race or whatever is going to be in charge of the city or the, the kingdom or whatever. And you have like the demon girl doing the demon you know, thing, the current people in charge of the orcs. And they're just like, yeah, oh, they're all about profit or something. And then the, the joke is that the succubus party is, um, you know, want, want to fuck vote suck. Our agenda is fuck, fuck something fuck <laughs> you know so i i find it interesting how they're framing it sounds like, like my this. agenda it's it's an it's it's a pretty light-hearted kind of play joke being framed as something i think is a little bit more serious than it is <laughs> i don't think this that i guess um it's not that deep bro would would be my reaction to that uh but anyway moving on i don't know like done. Like uh... no, that's actually pretty deep because I'm pretty sure you could get a guy elected by just running for the weed party. <laughs> well, like, like so. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. Well, okay. I want well, to go. To I want Joe to be able to go, but you see, but you said the weed party. We actually have a weed party in okay. New Zealand, and they yeah. don't do that well. <laughs> but they get people elected. Someone gets elected, dude. There was a guy like a decade ago. Actually, a little more than a decade ago, but he got like twenty four percent of a vote, the vote in a district, by his party being the rent is too damn high party. <laughs> and this was an insane person. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But anyway, I'll let you go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so like, um, the the succubus party, like being, uh, or the like the succubus party being like the party in power is. Well, they're not the party uh, in power. Well, they're the they're they're, they're they're they are. It's an yeah. advertisement for people to vote for them to become the party that's in power. The party that is actually what, in power right now, I believe, what is was the Orcs. Oh, okay. It was the yeah, Orcs. Oh, yeah. So, like, the thing that I think is really interesting in that. Um, in that episode, right, is that one, it's a very 
it's a very Japanese representation of local politics, you know, the mm. whole sort of like uh, the incredibly like vocal, like, hey, vote for me. Um, I'm going to stand on a podium and uh, shout at the top of my lungs, please. Uh, yeah, kind of thing. Please, please, please clap. <laughs> um, but it's also like, um, I think it's also kind of funny in that, like, it just reaffirms the necessity of like economic uh economic uh, sorry i have too much vodka in right now nah, um of just like economic elements as a necessity of like real political action right because like you look at like you look at like the um you look at the orc party and you look at the succubus party right they're both like functionally like parties that um maintain a specific economic status quo you know they're mm. all about like a particular kind of commodified stability for the succubi it's like um, you know, like sex is, you know, it's all about sex, and they're just like, <laughs> yeah, oh hell sex yeah, is, but sex, sex work is, is good, more sex work, you know, yeah, yeah, but yeah. like sex is very clearly established as like a central commodity in this world. Um, yeah. so like in this context, sex is not like some sort of like Taboo. sex is not like just something by itself that exists at the margins. It is a central element of the economy of this world. Right. Um, and then, like, who are they up against? Well, they're up against the incumbent party, which is the Orc Party, which fundamentally is just like, we're about stability. We're about agricultural development. We're about, like, these things that so the have right. always worked. And they're um, also, and I believe the Orc Party is also pro the sex stuff as well. So it's kind of, yeah. they're both, they're both, like, campaigning for the same thing. I guess the Orc Party is a lot more generalized, which is probably why they are still in, you know, because, you know, this, typically one issue parties don't tend to, you know, do that well. You you kind of need to be able to get a wide net to get enough votes, right? In yeah. Sense. I'm a one Unless the one um... issue is a really big issue, like the rent being too damn high. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but then you look at like um you look at like the third party right in that episode which is like the demon party right, um, and like the demon party has like a sort of like how can you describe it sort of like, uh, Hegelian German idealism about it which is that like they're all about like these ideas these plans these futures like you know we're gonna innovate and so on and so forth but like nobody buys it right. And so, like, the only way that, uh, so, like, the number two guy is just like, okay, well, we have to adopt. And what is the, the thing that they care about? Well, it's just like, well, we're just going to co-opt these reviewers to review uh, the demon brothel. And yeah. so it's just like, they're essentially taking on the trappings of a already existing main commodity to try and get political power. Um, and, and so, like, and there's it, a very... <laughs> and, and the, the best part about that episode is it doesn't fucking work because yeah, they, get work. <laughs> they get distracted by get the distracted. fucking cowgirls <laughs> which I felt was quite good yeah it was a good episode actually I, I really enjoyed that episode it was quite good um, so yeah so continuing on uh, we have um, also I'm pretty happy to see they've got a really straightforward presentation of how a parlor works represented and if someone who wouldn't know that Knew, knew what being a full service client would be like, but also likes anime, asks what it's like, show them this anime. The, tw the tweet thread that I linked in the chat. I linked it in the... In the oh, in the... yeah, the thing I can't show. Yeah, Wait, exactly. That's, that's why, unknown, that's why I'm reading it. Okay, so the yeah, chat I, can... I can you... <laughs> right? Um, okay, so... is this written by an ESL friend? <laughs> Because this does not it's sound written, like a native English. This is written people. by somebody called um, Kawaii Baby on Twitter, who um, is a cute kitten NZ sex worker, apparently. A hentai reviewer. Um, interesting. Okay. I mean, um, it's, it's Twitter, right? They could just be writing on their phone. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah. so th this is where the interesting, like, sort of, like, flip starts to happen right so it's um this show is borderline hentai it's objectifying it has problems but damn it's fucking cool to see sex workers have autonomy in media for a change seven out of ten and it's like yeah that's okay fine yeah, it's, it's all right and then you get to the tweet directly under it i take back everything this show is trash <laughs> episode three is an absolute dumpster fire <laughs> skip it if you still want to watch this show the men once again have very awful opinions and it's potentially triggering what the? So, man, I can't wait until I watch I this show. 
Um, I guess to be fair to, to this person, right? Show, uh, I guess to be fair to this person, she friend. did say, skip this if you still want to watch the show. She's not like, yeah, don't yeah. watch this show ever again. You know? I, I, I find I, that I, interesting I, as well. Like, most people that are, like, that gun ho and crazy yeah like most that. people will just cancel the show entirely see yeah. i see see I'm, 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 I'm just the thing i find more interesting is just the 180 <laughs> like oh yeah it's, it's a seven out of ten sorry i take it back the show's trash <laughs> You know, well, I haven't seen that. like the third episode. I only watched episode you two. You want me? What you want me to it? tell you? You want me to tell a spoil for everyone? Okay, it's sure. it's the episode where they go to a brothel where they change their sex. Okay. Oh, oh right. I was about to say, is so, it the Rule sixty three one or the succubus? Yes. So the they go, they go to the brothel, right? <laughs> they they go to the brothel. They drink a potion, and the potion <laughs> literally physically turns them into a woman for like a day. Right, or okay. so, or like, or like six hours or whatever. Right, so they go to this um this brothel and they become women. And the reason they're going to this brothel was they heard about it and they were like, oh, you know, let's experience what it's like to be a woman. You know, what's, what's it like to get you know, womaned? So they go in okay. and there's a lot of jokes about that. And it's like, oh, your heel boobs are big and clear. Now the 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 hermaphroditic suck um the, not suck it was the the angel um Clem, um they just lose their dick, so they keep the vagina but lose the dick, which is interesting when you think about it um that was the effect of the potion um and so the episode kind of goes along and there's there's parts in the episode where they talk about oh well why can't we leave the the brothel oh it's because the, you, you could trick someone into having sex with you and then it could lead to problems right and that triggered a lot of people because they thought it was talking about trans panic and that kind of shit even though i don't know it was. yeah i don't um, i don't think it's like trans panic right like well i'm talking about the episode right based upon your yeah. description of it yeah it doesn't sound like trans panic it sounds more like how can i describe it like um it, it sounds like a, an identity problem right you know mm. like if something happened if yeah. something happened like one of the first like things they would say is like who was it what's their gender right yeah, like because the, like a... they because because what happened was Clem wanted to leave because Clem was getting uncomfortable and the lady was like, no, you can't leave while you're under the effect okay. of the potion because if you do, like, it would cause pro because because the establishment would be held responsible, right? If you okay. went out and like tricked someone into fucking you or you like, and they have like a little animation of the succubus girl proposing to this orc. And then they go and they have sex, and then the next day the orc wakes up and is like freaking out, right? That kind of thing. So I think that's a little bit further mm. than the transpanic defense, actually. Okay. So because it's yeah, it's, yeah. So with like that a little bit more, yeah, that's starting to get a little bit weird. Wait, is that why they dropped it? The, I was gonna get to that. The, we're gonna get to that. Um, oh. So so the rest of the episode, they actually have some really interesting stuff where they talk about um. Like, Clem is actually looking at the male sex workers because Clem is like, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm becoming a female. I might as well try, like, the male ones. And all the other um, people, like the the other guys in the group, were like, like they, they explain what the male sex workers are and they go into, like, a bit of exposition about it. And then they kind of go, like, nah, nah, we're going to have, like, other sucky girls do it because we you know we're not gay right yeah that kind of thing okay um and so the solution to this was clem hired another hermaphroditic species to bone him <laughs> it was quite good um okay and uh, so i i'm 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 really like simplifying it right you kind of have to watch it to get the the proper like shit but it was it was a very um good episode i can i can see where they're coming from with like Okay, maybe there's a bit of like that stereotypical uh, trans trap, whatever. Even though, in my opinion, it's not actually talking about trans people, right? In this in this context, right? It's talking about like you drank a potion, you became perfectly a female, right? Just something different. Um, yeah. So I can kind of see where they're coming from, but I don't think like the extreme reaction of well, the show's shit now. It's a dumpster fire. Is, <laughs> is particularly would you say warranted. it? Might would you say, like obviously, once again I no 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 no, 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 no about this, but would you say it is like it might accidentally be discussing like similar issues that are being discussed in like the trans community i think it could accidentally do it but i think it definitely wasn't the intent right okay i think that the intent was more to be kind of like an explanation is i think it was just like okay why can't they leave the building right like okay. they needed they needed a way to keep them in the building this is a pretty logical explanation as to why they can't leave the building right 
kind of that okay. kind of thing. I don't think it was like meant to be a commentary on oh well you know if you change your gender you're obviously going to try and trick people because you, 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 that kind of thing right it was mm-hmm. more like it was more like you know security type thing for the establishment at least that's how i i perceived it in Five, the viewing of it four, so three, moving moving two, there's more right one. so silver lining so far krum is canonically and at least in the subtitles by the narrator referred to by lay them pronouns good all right um, trigger warning, assault slash transphobia. Krim is forced uh, into having the genitalia exposed during the gender swap, which for Krim magically, <laughs> which for Krim completely magics away the male sex organs. After that, the reason they're told they can't leave is one to one of transparent as transparent, very icky, which I got into. Um, and then, and then, we go back around. Okay, damn it, not to backpedal again, but besides the missteps they take with the gender slash sex issues in this episode, the second half is amazing. Holy I shit. <laughs> um, okay, so I got scene... a question. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. what's All the right. question? So the potion, does it only turn you into a female or does it turn you into the opposite sex? It biologically turns you. It, 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 it's 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 purely like physical transformation into a female. Just a female. Does it do the other gender or other way around? Well, that's complicated because the whole gender sex separation bullshit, right? No, it no, makes I, it makes just... you look like it, it makes you grow boobs, become female body structure it ha- your dick becomes a vagina right like it, 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 it turns you into effectively a biological woman right? okay so i was wondering what happens if the angel gets it would they have which, two, is, which, it, which, which is which is which is well, no which is what which is what i just said which oh. was they they just lost the male genitalia oh, because okay. they had both so they keep the vagina but just lost the male genitalia oh, okay um, so finishing this tweet, um, the sex scenes are the hottest they've had so far. Um, sans the halflings, and Krum is officially my favourite Eero <laughs> pro tag ever. Krum is w- written in a way that not only subvert the expectations of the characters around them constantly, but in a way that gives the message of you'll have the best sexual experiences possible by embracing your body and its desires. Krum truly is the biggest dick energy, <laughs> um, and like Krum is hella fucking relatable to how they are reacting to the world around them. Completely makes sense and reminds me a lot of myself and how I was realizing sexuality, such and such and such and such. And they're really cr- cute too. And, um, yeah, so I love the, it's just the back and forth, right? When, when you're looking at it through that lens, it's like, oh man, it's really good. Oh fuck. No, it's fucked up. Oh no. Oh no, it's really good. It's like, mm. <laughs> so that was an interesting look into like a sort of different perspective on the show, I guess. Um, that I thought would be quite interesting to talk about. Yeah. I don't know. Her take seems pretty like. I don't know. Her take seems like pretty reasonable. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying it's unreasonable. Yeah. I'm just saying I found the the back and forth to be really interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? It's just it's just the extremity of it. It's like, man, this show's a seven out of ten. It's pretty good. It's decent. Ah, oh, fuck this show. It's fucking terrible. God damn it, it's a dumpster fire. Oh, you know what? It's actually not that bad now. You know. <laughs> it's funny because it reminds me of a friend of mine. She uh she would like tweet like her thoughts on like the how I met uh, on how I met your mother like every every week it aired. Um, right. And then when the last episode happened, all she wrote on Facebook was TV is dead. <laughs> <laughs> TV was a mistake. <laughs> TV was a mistake. Um, so yeah, Interspecies Reviewers, I, I very much enjoy it. I think it's a good show. I think it's worth watching. Um, obviously, you are probably going to have to, you know, <laughs> going to have to put your pirate hat on to, to watch it these days. But, you know, <laughs> what are you going to do? Yo-ho, yo-ho, yo-ho-yo-yo-yo. Yo ho, yo ho. Um, but uh, yeah, I I think it's really good, and I feel like Crunchyroll choosing not to uh keep it is a mistake on their part. I think it. Uh, Funimation. Oh yeah, Funimation. Shit, I always get them mixed up. The parasites they 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 merge together. Joe, you have to understand. Oh okay. Like, yeah. yeah, but their merge ended a while ago. You you they mistook did. one nematode for another. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, it's 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 interesting. It's, it's yeah, interesting. It, it's funny because like the first like 
like the first two episodes I watched, I really loved the show. Uh, mm. It's just like this is a lot of interesting things that you know you just don't really see talked about. Yeah, I was not allowed yeah. to watch the first two episodes. <laughs> Yeah, when I was talking about it on Critical Critique the other day, it was like we were talk we were covering a man of my mats video on it, <laughs> which is quite fun. And oh, um we, we were talking about how like the point of the show was like it's exploring something that is not really explored in the fantasy setting. It's like, okay, so all of these different creatures exist, right? So what would it be like to fuck an octopus, <laughs> right? Like, what, uh, what, what would it be like to fuck a bird? I, I, right? I don't know about this one, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, well, but, I mean, as far as birds are concerned, they only have one hole. <laughs> well, there's like this, like, there's like this trope, right? There's like this ongoing trope in just like uh, anime and manga that's like. It's really, like, tiresome, but it's also, like, really funny at the same time, which is just, like, uh, the idea of, like, yeah, this girl has this, like, very, very minute deformity that only I can see past. You know? Oh, yeah. Um, and I, the show kind of just runs with that, but just, like, like it, it subverts that, like, idea, but it just runs with that subversion, like, as far as it possibly can. It's just like, yeah, of course, people will totally be attracted to you know, like Whatever, yeah. octopus women, and yeah. let's see what it looks like. Yeah, how how would how would this actually work? Like the last, the recent, most recent episode, they went to a volcano, and they uh, they they had fun with a salad. You can fire. Okay, I'll explain. So they go to the like this volcano brothel, and they have um, you know that one really interesting kind of fetish type thing where you're eating food off someone. Okay, right. Yeah. Like, you know, sushi off like a woman or something. They do that, yeah, but it's it. a salamander. And the salamander <laughs> is like, a, it's literally just a barbecue. It's a living barbecue. <laughs> they, they fucking like cook meat off the private parts. I was going to say that they eat like a Philly cheesesteak off of her. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, they do. Really no. interesting now. Yeah, and I the know. Best, and the, and the I, best the, part of like, it was when they got the sausages out. No. And they were cooking the sausages inside okay. the mouth of the salamander. You know, hearing this and me being a cook and stuff like this, I could just think of so many things to do. I mean, this yeah. is just more interesting then, the more I hear it. And then what ended up happening... I don't even think of this as a, uh, a sexual thing. I think of this as like, what the fuck can I do with this salamander? This sounds awesome. So, so, so after they have their barbecue, um, obviously the, the human and the elf character, they can't fuck the salamander because they don't have... Have heat resistance right they would mm -hmm. actually have their dicks melt off so but here's the thing the angel has heat resistance so the angel and the salamander have fun and apparently he's got a good good score i won't spoil it but it was, it was you know it's, it's good good lay apparently if you can handle the heat <laughs> apparently i mean if you that, that can't like, handle the heat like... get out of the kitchen that sounds like that sounds like people like eating suicide wings. This is like, oh yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. you can handle it. It's pretty good. <laughs> but that's what I mean. It's it's an. It's, I, I love, mean, I are just you love the show. denying that those suicide wings are good? I'm not denying suicide wings are good. Suicide wings. I mean, I love my I love my spicy food, so I'm quite I'm quite into that kind of shit. But um, but yeah, it's it, that's basically the whole show is just hey, here's this really interesting like the fury episode is like they have to have their dicks measured because obviously, obviously like theories have size limits, right? <laughs> so this is, this is really funny, right? Because this is starting to get into like Luce Ergeri, like levels of like body metaphor. Yeah. Um, for anybody who's like unfamiliar in like the Twitch stream, uh, Luce Ergeri is a Lacanian uh, feminist in which she talks about like, so, like, one of the things that she argues, right, is that, like, psychoanalysis and the way in which we think about, like, human subjectivity has largely been positioned in relation to, like, a male body, a sort of, like, enclosed male body that has, like, a clear sense of, like, oneness in relation to, like, a world around them. But, like, a female body, like, brings up a lot of different challenges because she essentially argues that the female body is, like, it's porous, it's changing, fluid, leaks everywhere, Five, right? Like, that's four, essentially how she frames it, right? Two, and, like... One. This is really starting to show in the case of Ishizoku reviewers, right? <laughs> because it's all about, like, bodies. Yeah. You know? 
bodies to make things, bodies used to like in the in the act of labor, bodies to be represented. It's 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 so interesting. I don't know where it's going, but that's probably only yeah. I, I, I agree. With that. Yeah, I agree. It's it's just really interesting. And oh man, I forgot I forgot about another thing that happened in the same episode. They um they 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 they're looking for a new brothel to go to, and they find this like really like they go down like a dark alley, right? And they find the sign that's like all you can fuck for like five hundred yen or something, right? And they're like <laughs> fuck. Nah, uh, yeah, you get, get ready. Get I'm gonna ready, get my right? money's worth there. <laughs> get ready. <laughs> so they find the place, and it's imps right and the way the brothel works is you have this room that's like a prison that's just filled with these nymphomaniac imps like 50 of them and you pay 500 yen and you get tossed in there until you die (laughs) (laughs) and uh, and they go in there and they fucking um they they get completely destroyed in like five seconds and then the the episode subverts you by having this fucking um massive group of like pig men show up and are like we're back to um to save our honor from last time and the imps are just losing their shit because <laughs> it's like twenty thousand orc and like pigmen coming <laughs> to, to this room this sounds and hilarious then, and then the guys just get thrown out like the fucking like trash compartment and then i like just dead lying on the street and krim is just like you can't die here get up <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great it's okay great. i'm gonna have to watch this maybe yeah, like, in this sounds a few months. really interesting it's <laughs> fucking great man well it's maybe in a few months we should do a review of it <laughs> dude i'd be down for that because i'm i'm thoroughly enjoying it i'm i'm really getting into it i think it's just it's just fun because it's just fun right it's funny well, like, and it's fun it's well not the thing like, is right like yeah. I think it's even beyond fun. I think it is saying something. I just don't know what it is yet because, you know, all the episodes right. haven't come out. It's saying, don't tell anyone I did mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, no. But I, I, yeah. Cool. The premise of the show sounds like something you would come up with on shrooms. But yeah, it's. Or it's kind of... But yeah, like this. Uh, like, I think, like, the nympho thing is, like, really, like. I think the nympho thing is like really interesting the way you're describing it, right? Because like the yeah. nympho thing is like, yeah. So far, right? As I understand it, right? The in these episodes so far, sex has been like a sort of like, um, presented as like a sort of like positive sum transaction in all of these mm. situations. You know, it's just yeah, like some, everybody some, benefits. Yeah, some um, of some of the places get you know worse reviews than others depending on the you know mm-hmm. kinks and stuff involved. But most most of the time, it's like yeah, no, this is you know pretty pretty good experience you know yeah but but then the imps come along and it's just like yeah this knocked us out for four weeks fuck it (laughs) yeah (laughs) which like Uh, i think it's like really like i I think it's a really like that can knock me out sort of like situation because i'm I'm probably gonna marry that (laughs) because like it's well it's it's like essentially like these characters kind of like getting their like sort of like soft comeuppance right you know, yeah, like, a little bit. You know, yeah. they're just like ho- there's like crazy horn dogs. Yeah, and revealing because all they women, go in. And now the they go. Turn. They go in all fucking confident and shit, and they get the the elf to do fucking like MMO. Like, okay, give us all of your strongest buffs. We're going in, mm-hmm. like <laughs> right. Yeah. Like they do. They do the whole like before. Like, because I know that I know it's all the freaking wow. world buffs and everything. Yeah, like, yeah. They all do, the world they buffs, do, all the elixirs, and then they get their shit canned in because someone yeah, pulled yeah, the mob like... that pulled uh, five more because you decided to do the skip, but you were uh, too lazy to make sure you didn't pull. Hmm. Well, it's also like a really good, like interesting, like um. It's also a really good, like interesting sort of like uh thematic um. Uh, reaffirmation of like the necessity of like fair sex work, right? Because it's just, like they're in a situation where there's like it's like a sex buffet, right? Where they're just like you know like oh 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 you can have sex, oh my god, amazing, right? But like fundamentally, right? If you look at like this particular kind of business model, it is an incredibly like it is an incredibly like exploitative business model. But it seems based upon your description, the show presents that particular business transaction as being unpleasant. Yeah, it was very unpleasant. You know, but here's the thing. Horrible. Here's the thing. It was unpleasant for them. 
Not yes, the pigmen, Five, but the pigmen, four, it's a completely three, different story. Because right? <laughs> the pigmen right. have stamina and they're going in there with the fucking like entire oh guild, right? <laughs> like the whole <laughs> guild is going in there. And it's As you just, and, yeah, so it's, yeah. God, I just can't stop talking about the show because I'm very passionate. Like, I'm, I, I really. The show sounds it. amazing. <laughs> I'm not it's gonna lie. Re- it's really good. I, I can see I why actually, this is probably like the most popular <laughs> show of the season at the moment. Like, I want to read the the manga as well because I've heard the manga's equally just as good. Now, from um, what I've heard, uh, the manga's actually worse, not because of the manga is bad, but because the anime is just that good. Yeah, the anime is apparently like adding a lot of stuff to it. Like the way that they do like the review sections, right? Where they have like, um, oh, well, they're they're doing like a game show and they all talk about their experience and you get the cutscene stuff. You don't actually get that as such in the manga. It's just kind of like, well, here's like the the, here's like the text blurb, right? Of like Mm. the page, right? Of what the like, like as you would read it on like the bulletin board at the pub, right? You get like the, the the bit of paper, right? And then you can read it. But then in the anime, they do like these metaphors, like there's one where they're like in a bowling alley and how well they, you know, do they get a strike or do they get like you know, eight out of 10, nine out of 10, four out of 10, right? That kind Five, of stuff. You don't, four, like, so, so the three, anime definitely two, adds, I think, one. a lot in that regard. But I've, mm. you know, I'd be interested to read the manga as well and just kind of see what the differences, like the different experience of it, right? I think it would be very interesting. So yeah, yeah, uh, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> That's so uh, what are one hell what of other topic. topics? Oh, we're not done with yeah. the topic though. Oh, we're not. Oh, we're not done. Are we? All right. Oh yeah. So, uh, I you know there's that rumor going around. I have been unable to confirm that at all. That rumor. I have searched at least the oh, first you... four pages of Google. You mean the rumor about the translator being fired? Yes. Yeah, I haven't. You're never going to find out about that. Yeah, I haven't been able to confirm that either, which means I'm just going to chalk it up to being a rumor. Well, yeah, I. Yeah. Like the first four pages of Google, you know, that that's like more work than ninety nine percent of everyone else. The <laughs> funny thing about that rumor that makes me think it's bullshit is that they say forced to sign an NDA, which is a common. Yeah. Fa- it's common. But that's something you say that to get people to not look any deeper. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, about that one. I, I think that that's a bit bull. I, I think I it still, might be bull. I still well. maintain, I still maintain my my personal theory that it's 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 someone that's high high up in the food chain got triggered by something, right? Like probably episode three with the whole you know gender swapping stuff or yeah. just something, right? Could have been anything, right? They got triggered or well, I mean, offended or that something knowledge that most of uh, Funimation Five, I think almost all of four, it is feminist three. well we've seen the this company also bow to the same 15 psychos so I don't know I don't know I feel I feel like it has to because obviously like I've said before it has to have but the decision had to have been made from a higher up couldn't have been made bottom down must have been something they really considered because obviously there's a lot of money involved it's just like I, it doesn't like it doesn't make sense you know it's, it does, I think something, they got something doesn't something doesn't add up is what I'm getting at. Like, there's, there's something going on here that we're not, we we're not privy to Three, that because they, they're obviously two, lying to us, right? One. All right. There's obviously something else going on, but we're not privy to that information, so we don't really know the full extent. I think. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at on that. But yeah, that rumor I'm not sure about because the rumor was basically, oh well, they they fired the um. The, the the translator or whatever and got them to sign an NDA and then something 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 I think the the post that I saw I think it was on some news site was showing like it was based off some people talking on the A and N forum about bloody about it and they were like oh well, I know the, the translator and they said they're, 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 I don't want to name no, no, you know that kind yeah. of stuff I, I, like, yeah, I yeah, read that's all the, that my uncle works for Nintendo type shit yeah I know <laughs> I, I I read that and I. It did seem very, very sketchy. Mm. Because, like, the thing is, if you were forced to sign an NDA, 
you're not going to tell anyone anything. Yeah, you're not going to yeah. tell anyone that could possibly leak that out, right? <laughs> like, you wouldn't you wouldn't just be, like, saying to your bro who happens to use the A&N forums, right? Like, <laughs> you're not going to do that. You're gonna you're gonna keep that shit to yourself. Like maybe you say it to your wife because she needs to know you just lost your job. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, something like. But that. you're not gonna go. Yeah, because I translated this show. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, it's so um, it's very obviously bullshit. That's looking pretty good. Mm. I might increase the size of that a little. <laughs> so yeah. So do we have anything else to talk about on this topic? Or yeah. all right, that's looking pretty good. Mm. I might increase the size of that a little. <laughs> so yeah. So do we have anything else to talk about on this topic? Or any other little tidbits? Uh, nah, I don't, I don't think there's much, uh, to talk about interspecies reviewers, but I mean, I, I'm definitely going to be watching this. Uh, I would just wasn't allowed to watch it yet. I'm not old enough. Mm. <laughs> I still run it as, it would have been better as the hentai. I, I think it that, might have yeah, been, actually it. been hearing all this about the story. I actually think it would benefit <laughs> from being a hentai. I think it would benefit from the, the full on experience of, you know, it I mean, you can almost guarantee the animators would be more passionate. Yeah, I think, I think, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's weird because the show also has like fucking five different versions. There's like the super censored version where they even, they even censor the nipples on fully clothed characters, right? And then you have the, the more moderately censored version. And then you have the somewhat uncensored version. And then you have the full uncensored version. Yeah. The way that people have been actually managing to get subtitles and, stuff onto these episodes was to like interlace the different visions together to get it to be uncensored and it's like god damn not gonna lie this is gonna be one of those shows that gets a million times better when the blu-rays come out oh yeah oh yeah there's only one show i feel actually got worse with the censors being removed and that was shimonetta yeah yeah because the oh god, is, that got way worse with the censorship. Removed. Yes, and I don't, I wouldn't say way worse. It's nice in some ways, but at the same time, it ruins a lot of the joke of the series. Yeah, yeah uh, a, lot the, a lot of the point was about the censorship. Them unable the to censorship show being removed was bad enough, and then in the dub they don't realize why they have the censorship on language. Mm, yeah. So it's just people screaming fuck shit and cunt constantly. Yeah. It's like, well, I don't care. Well, I mean, the imagine, imagine, imagine watching killed. a dub. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, no, Interspecies Review is definitely a, a solid pickup for this season, I would say. Yeah, I, uh. I, uh. I first watched it for uh, the prospect of animate titties, mm. but then I was just, and then I, and then like two episodes in, I was just like, "Oh, this is actually a good show." Yeah, it's I shocking. mean, I can, I, I like, can follow now. The show tricked me, dude. Back and get the prospect of animate titties constantly. So, so bringing up that whole hentai thing, right? This is an interesting question because a lot of people like on the other side of the fence, right, have been being like, oh, well, you know, why not just watch a fucking hentai? And why does this have to exist as like Five, an itchy or whatever? Four, and I'm three, like, mm. two, one. If it existed as a hentai, I would be watching that. Like, like, here's the thing. Like, I agree with, well, as I mentioned before, I agree if it was, like, if it had the ability to actually go, like, that in depth with it with the sex, right, that would be good. Like, no, no denying that. But the idea that, you know, you can't have, like, an itchy show at all, you know? Mm. Well, I mean, the best I mean it does go against is... my Christian values. One of my favorite shows is Monmu. And I'm sitting, 
So I'm a big fan well, of Edgy being Edgy <laughs> and Hentai being Hentai. Like, no, you can do Edgy well. It's, yeah. Yeah, just look at High School DX. <laughs> it's just supposed to be titillating and not, I, oh my god, I want to masturbate. Hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, I... it is aimed at a younger audience. Hmm. And then there's also the fact that, you know, hentai is kind of hard to get shown on the old televisions, you know? It's a bit... Oh, yeah. If you want to make money, you don't do hentai. Yeah. Uh, kind, of, like, uh, kind of the problem. There's something about hentai that, like, kind of, like, off puts me, which is that, like... No one advocates for the legal uh, streaming of hentai, but only Crunchyroll and Funimation. Four. Well, I mean, like, I find, like... How can I describe it? I find, um... <laughs> Incidental sex is pro is a lot more like exciting. Oh yeah, I love that. That is amazing. <laughs> you know, we're just like when it just happens, I, right? With, I love like, it. With a hentai, I'm just like, well, I know they're gonna bang eventually. Right. Right. I, I love All it right. inside a hentai. I love it inside a porn, but I love it in real life so much more. <laughs> okay, where is this going? Okay, I I kind of get I get you there. I think that's like the idea. Yeah, you know, it's of like when it, you watch you know, a sex scene in a movie, porn. you're just like, damn, this is hot. But then you watch like a porno, you're just like, mm, all right, this is all right. Yeah, it's kind of like um. I don't know. I, I, I honestly believe it's, it's, it can be naturally done. It's like, yeah, yeah, you know in your head it is going to happen eventually, but there are some shows and some that can actually do it very well. I think it's the difference between um, how, how do I describe this? It's the difference between something being the sole purpose being yeah. to have the sex versus something Using the six as an additive, kind of right? like that one whole. Like you have a good, you, uh, you like you have a black elf. Like you have a good story, and then on top of the good story, you have like a sex Five, scene or something. Four, right? It's a bit different three, than um two, the idea of one. well, we're oh, making you mean a like hentai. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, obviously, obviously. Um, but yeah, you get what I mean, right? Like it's yeah. I feel I feel like there's a difference there, almost a little bit. But at the same time, I do, again, it's this idea that I see a lot online of people going, "Oh well, you know, why don't why don't you just watch a hentai?" And it's like, perhaps maybe because the purpose of an itchy, although the titillization element is obviously there, perhaps there could possibly be more to it than just that. In all honesty, I just don't think... I think hentai just doesn't have high enough standards. I think they need to oh, raise I agree, their right. I think I think we can describe this more so through like because, Indian uh, psychoanalysis. Uh, what's it called? Uh, if hentai has done anything for me, it's more of I want a story while uh, it's happening because that well, just makes it infinitely more interesting. Exactly. Exactly, dude. Lacan yeah, we have to stop this demonic ritual. The small object. <laughs> Which essentially means that any subject in the process of becoming uh, a subject has the small object. And the small object, functionally, right, is this idea of something that leads you to something. It doesn't right. matter what it is. All that matters is that it exists to lead people into something. And so in this case, right, it's not the sex that makes it wonderful it's the thing that leads to it you're just like all right i can't yeah. wait until this yeah. pays off I welcome agree. to the pseudo intellectual I, podcast like when i think when i think about like some of the better dojins i've read right a lot of the ones that i think are the better ones are the ones that have like a narrative to them like, I mean, the clearest example of this is metamorphosis, right? That is like the, mo the most meme example I could use, but it's also the best one, right? That has a narrative, right? You're watching this, like, corruption and descent of this girl, mm -hmm. right? Into, into like, a, a very dark and, and horrible and horrific place, right? Wait, is, it the, is that the one with the housewife that keeps getting blacked? No, that's no, that, the, no, no, the girl who becomes who just gets hooked on drugs and becomes a prostitute. Yeah, oh. it's it's the it's really very famous depressing. One. It's very depressing, but I think that that's what makes it so popular, right? To put it in that way, right? Because it's not just oh well, you know, she fucking does drugs and fucks, right? Like that, because that's like a, there's a billion different fucking dojins you can read where it's like oh look at this. Guy, guy Joe or whatever the the the, the the you know that shit right it's heaps of that 
but it's the fact that you get to see this like natural progression right and it's very visceral and very real right yes you, you get the feeling that it's very you know and it hits you Five, emotionally yeah. in a sense you're standing there Three, it's two, uh, a, 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 a tear a single tear falls off of your face runs down your face falls <laughs> off of your chin hits you right in the dick you're saying, yeah. oh my god so sad oh it's so so sad it's like god damn i didn't I think such I pathos feel. you say <laughs> as you furiously check <laughs> <laughs> oh man but it, but that's kind of the thing right that that's 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 part of it i think is having some form of a narrative there to latch on to along with the obvious titillation that comes from you know seeing the fucking right mm-hmm. i feel like that's something that a lot of people kind of miss out on because obviously the itchies as shit as a lot of them are do typically tend to have a lot more plot in them than your average, you know, simple setup hentai, right? Mm-hmm. Because a lot of hentai setups are incredibly simple. It's just, you know, we need to we need to formulate a scenario in which the fucking happens, right? Rather than Dude, that- we need to formulate a scenario and have fucking happen inside the scenario. That makes any sense. Can we just talk about the most important thing? Shokugeki no Soma is getting finished as an anime. Oh. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> I'm just like, to... after the Food Mafia, the Food Mafia arc is getting done. <laughs> I heard about that. Didn't it get, like, cancelled or something? Like, <laughs> for what I heard. Yeah, because was... people were... Dude, like, the arc that they just recently covered on the anime was a bad arc. And it's like, it can't get much worse. It was like watching a train wreck into a pre- elementary school and then into a preschool. Yeah, like I had heard that um, <laughs> it, it was not going too well for that that series. Oh, God. So it was not, hilariously not good, not bad. Having a, not having a good time. Not having a good time. Uh, but yeah. It's interesting stuff. So whatever, what, what else have we got to talk about? All right. So, My Hero Academia, it got banned Ah, from China. Yeah, I heard about this, wasn't it? Because the author had named a character some, like, inflammatory fucking bullshit name or something. And people, I saw there were people getting mad at him because he named a character like a woodlog or something. And that's like a derogatory term back when Japan had invaded the mainland or something. Uh, It was kind of a reference to something very bad that happened it was I, a reference I, to world war ii if i remember well no 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 there was a world war ii reference but it was there was there was a world war ii reference in there uh well no, someone's i had, i had heard no no i had heard that it wasn't actually a reference he had just used the name not knowing that it was a reference he had used the name because the name was like it translated to like wood log or wood or something along those lines right like it, it had a meaning like because the thing you have to understand about him is he um he names all of his characters in a very very deliberate way like all of their names have like very yeah, they're specific all meanings well they all have no they all have names that are very specific to their characters right hey, Mi- midori means green yeah exactly <laughs> right yeah. he has green hair yeah that reminds so, me so, of uh, so what this so what it Garino. sounds so what green, it sounds green, like green. to me is he just like looked up, oh, what's a word I can use as a name, which is like means wood for this wood character or some shit. And he's just picked this one word Deku. and it just so and it just so happens to be like the the the, the, the tra- used as like a derogatory slur, right? It's like I, I think that's what By I've way, seen let's not on Twitter. Say that word. No, I'm not I'm not gonna say that. So that's 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 what I had heard, right? Was some something like that? Then this could be like a completely different right. subject to it getting banned Four, in China, but that was two, like the most two, drama thing one. that I'd heard about it. And apparently, he has like issued an apology, and he's going to like change the name or some some shit like that. I don't know. That's just that's just what I'd heard about it. I'm just tired of people apologizing. Same. Like never, in general, never, never apologize. <laughs> never it does. It doesn't help. 
first of all, an apology should be a personal thing. It should. Yeah. Like, do it in private. It should be a all that, it should be but... a personal thing, and it should be to people that you have actually offended. Like not apology. just to like randos online that are like. Apology should people. actually also yeah. Apology should really mean it. You know, like I would rather have somebody like not apologize than like them apologize and not mean it. Yeah, and a lot of the time it's like. Well, I mean, you're I just apologizing. Hope he his name to the N word instead, and it was like, sorry, this <laughs> name wasn't offensive enough. Well, when when you're apologizing to like a hate mob or whatever, do, it doesn't actually do anything, right? It's like they don't care. Like they don't they're not gonna accept your apology. You've already committed the cardinal sin. You I might mean, as I well kinda saw that with like, Mother's Basement's tweet. If you if you just, you know just just apologize to people that come to you personally and are like, hey, that kinda, you know, offended me or whatever. Then that's that's different. But if it's like a if you're getting attacked by like a hate mob or something, just don't just don't apologize. It's not it's not it's not going to help. It's not going to help. It doesn't help Five, <laughs> at all. Four, it actually three, probably is just going to make two, things worse. It also looks like to them an admission of guilt, which yeah, that's yes, yes. that to me is the the biggest problem with I, it. I don't, I don't I don't want to go completely into the whole Vic stuff, but that was one of Vic's biggest fuck ups. Was he apologized? Because he apologized. Then whose apology was the non apology? <laughs> well, here's the thing he apologized, right? But he didn't actually apologize for the thing that, like, they were accusing him yeah, of, no, right? That was hilarious. So, so he he was apologizing for some, like, just gen- in general, oh, if I made people feel uncomfortable, then okay, fine, whatever. But the thing is, is they latched onto that and said, look, look, he ap- he apologized. That means he, he definitely, like, sexually assaulted people. Because, he look, he apologized, you know? Like, look, even though the apology was not had absolutely nothing to do with actual sexual assault at all. It was just a generalized thing. And that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's why you don't apologize. <laughs> at all to these people yeah because you go and steal the cookies from the cookie jar and people catch you on camera you don't apologize <laughs> never apologize what? never <laughs> never never no matter apologize. what even if you're guilty Five, caught and four, is irrefutable three, never apologize one. you you say they are wrong for catching you on camera and prove why you're <laughs> actually in the right to steal oh, those man. cookies yeah you say what are you doing huh spying on me boy <laughs> yeah 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 you're not wrong you invasion of my privacy <laughs> when i'm stealing cookies <laughs> How dare you spy on me? This is a violation of my personal this is, autonomy. This is violation Did you know I came out as gay? <laughs> 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 I'm going to live out the rest of my life as a gay man to atone my sins. <laughs> I'm stealing the cookie from the cookie jar. <laughs> oh my god. I stole the cookie from the cookie jar. I guess I'm gay now. <laughs> Oh man! So yeah, yeah. So that that's kind of what I have to say about the. Uh... Okay, Kevin Spacey. <laughs> I mean, how was I supposed to know that that person who had evidence on me had suicidal tendencies? <laughs> okay, Hillary. Uh, uh... Well, me, that also works for Kevin Spacey. <laughs> mm. yeah. But um, but no. That's kind of yeah. That's kind of what I have to say about that. At least it's like a different thing that he got banned in China for, which it could possibly be. And I'm, you know, I wouldn't know. Nah, that's about of what I've heard that it was banned in China for. It was literally the World War Two thing and all that stuff. Which, in in all honesty, it's it's fairly interesting to think about. Anyway. It is, but I mean, it's China being China. So what do you what do you, what do you expect? You On know, the topic of China, so uh, how how are we corona. doing that uh, coronavirus, boy? Um, well, I got like fucking um about a kilo's worth I of mean, rice. Okay, so with the <laughs> coronavirus, um, Justin Trudeau found a way to avoid the coronavirus, and that's by wearing oh, blackface. No. But then he got Ebola shortly after. No, oh, my no. god. Um, no, I've got. I, I I have been watching Sticks, so. X, and Hammer, and I I actually I think I agree with his Five, his position, which is four, just do some three. basic prepping, you know. Just buy buy some extra shit when you go to the groceries. 
Dude, just so swear my, it, uh, So I have like really uh, dry it skin. Sounds right like now. Chandler wants in. So I have really dry <laughs> skin right now, right? Um because of like the winter weather. Yeah. Mm. And uh I was at I was at the grocery store the other day. <laughs> and while I was at the self checkout, some lady was just like, Are you okay? And I was just like <laughs> I was just like is this racism? <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe's just like because that's this never one, happened this, to me before. But now one, all of a sudden, people are like, "This is this this making them." Ra- is this what racism feels no, like? Did, wait, 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 Joe, 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 Joe. Did you tell her that's laces? <laughs> no, I was just like, "Yeah, I'm fine." Are you sure you like, didn't say God. that's laces? No, what? What? That's that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god! But no, um, yeah, for Corona, like, just, just, just buy some extra shit, you know. Like, I got like a few, I got like a kilo or something of dried rice that I can whip up if I need to, pretty easily. Oh you yeah, know, I get have some, get oh. some extra toilet paper, get some extra shit, you know. Oh yeah, just... we have enough, uh, like toiletries for about a year because we just normally have that much because we hate shopping. Uh, yeah. And we have enough food for a few months because we just. By the way, we have like multiple freezers. We have multiple fridges and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, like, like just, we, just, just stock like, up this on is, some this shit. You know? It's hilarious because we're we're like we're stocker ups just normally. We're not even like because bulk buying is um better, significantly cheaper. Yes, it is significantly <laughs> cheaper. Like, mm. oh, you have a deep freeze. Okay, you're good for the year. Yeah, we have a deep freezer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that's that's kind of what I mean. Like just 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 stock up. We have a deep freezer that uh, what's it called? I went hunting and shot a deer, and we got so much sausage and bread. Okay, so what's that? Like three, four months worth of food? Oh, it's it's really good. Um, yes. I will. I would say I somewhere will... around probably four. one month, just one deer. Two. I will. Oh, say, uh, I'm just will... guessing off of two people. You could. I... Depends. I will say though, my current prediction for Corona is or Corona how you say it, is um China's fucked, India's fucked. The China's is lying. Re- <laughs> China's re- China's, China's is way re- worse off than what they're letting Ch- on. China is China's I'm on my really second fucked. cup of uh what's it called? Moonshine. Or not moonshine. <laughs> I don't have moonshine. I wish I did. Uh what's it called? Fireball. Well, from what I understand, like, yeah, China's fucked, India's fucked, like, but I think that the West itself is probably not going to be too bad. Yeah, I mean, right? it's, there's a big reason I haven't been worrying, <laughs> because it's like, yeah. what, we have, like, five confirmed cases in America? Well, yeah, I'm just sitting there like, okay, it's going to have to, A, be, within se- be somewhere within 70 miles of me to even think about worrying. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, I, I mean, think, I think that like there's differences in. Here's the thing: well, if it gets on a homeless person, that's when we're fucked. Well, I think I think the thing is right is there's differences in like the medical technology, along with like differences in like systems in place to deal with this type of thing in the West, rather than in China and India and that type of thing. So, I mean, like the only other confirmed death outside of China, I think, was the Philippines, if I'm correct. Like, there was one elderly person, and that's the other thing, right? It's mainly killing, like, old people and sick people and, like, people that have, like, immuno complications and that kind of thing. Which leads me to believe that, right, so it'll give you pneumonia, which is fucked and will fuck you up real hard because I've experienced that in the family before. My mum got that once. It, it fucks you up really good. Um, so you'll probably get, like, pneumonia for, like, a fucking... And be expected to be, like, out for, like, maybe two weeks to maybe even longer. And then you'll probably be fine after that. Like, that's that's kind of what I'm starting to gather from looking at the maps and the statistics that I'm seeing. So I think that, in general, if you're in, like, a Western country, you're probably not going to have to worry a whole lot about it. But if you're in somewhere that has high population density... You know, bad hygiene practices, you know, bad food prep practices, you know, that kind of thing. Probably gonna need to, you know, be a bit of a shit. You're their problem. <laughs> Chandler makes a really good joke in the Twitch chat. We shouldn't worry because it's made in China. 
Yeah, it's not gonna last that long. Right. But that's yeah, actually not bad. true. It's made no, in that's even Canada. worse, dude. If it's made in China, it's a disease with lead, dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for one, if it was made in China, that just means it won't last long. But two, it it wasn't made in China. It was made in Canada. I blame you, Joe. Specifically what? you. Me? Yeah, Probably just... bitch. Yeah, just I know. Just... You're the one that created Corona. Huh? Everybody shut up. I have an erection. <laughs> I, 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 I drank too much Corona, yeah. <laughs> Joe, yeah Joe, got, he, Joe, he, Joe watched an anime Matt video and decided to end the human race with Corona. Oh like, yeah, that reminds me of one of the cures that people have been doing. Uh, warm temperature and alcohol. Alcohol, dude, yeah. Yeah, and then it's like, so are you are you going to tell me we're going to see Corona at, uh, commercials dude, my mom to fight Corona one, is drinking Corona my mom, beer? My mom texted me one day about the coronavirus. She was like, are you okay? What's going on with the coronavirus over like where, where I am? And I was just like, don't worry, I'm immune. <laughs> 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 it's because I'm always drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, this just reminds me of the Indian Casino episode of South Park. Oh man, it, it's a good Were day. Were they stars with bright and chicken noodle suit? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> today is a good day to pretty, to pretty much just start drinking again. You know, I, I love drinking. I haven't, like, heavily drank in, like, half a year. And, you know, the coronavirus creeping up, I, I think it's a good time to start drinking again. Yeah, so just, do you think just, this just is the, secretly a plan to kill the Muslim population in China? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, Don't get me banned. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, there is the talk that it was man-made, so... Oh, it's, yeah, almost, well, it's positively made, man-made. <laughs> like, this, this stuff uh, was in Canada being researched many months before it broke out in China. Like, in a fuck... It was in a lab in Canada. It definitely is not uh, natural. It is definitely man-made. I mean, I'm sitting there... Like, it's cheaper to use a virus than the death camps China already has. Yeah, so you can kind of understand, you know? Like, <laughs> like I'm really sitting there going, wait, just, it's just, cured by just... booze. They're just trying to like cut down the fucking, you know, the, the costs. You know, got to get more efficient in in their uh, <laughs> like get more efficient. There's only two answers. One was it was meant to be used on Taiwan or Hong Kong, which would yeah. make sense after the fucking mask ban that's still going on in Hong Kong. Yeah, that's mm, people don't talk about Hong Kong at the moment, but yeah, that's that's still kind of fucked, eh? <laughs> Oh my god, the pro president, whatever the fuck she is of Hong Kong, going, I stand by the mask ban while wearing a fucking mask. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> like, oh, that's not a good image. No. No. Five, not. Four. You are so lucky you don't actually live in a democratic country. Hey, sweet chat, I get to actually be a tank shaman. Something that yeah. is rare for a boss, nevertheless. Okay, where's my healer? Do I have a healer? Holy shit, I almost died because no one was healing me. Yeah, it's like, no, you don't. <laughs> You're fucked. Yeah, I was about to say, do I not have a healer? Because I saw my health almost die and I had to start healing myself. Alright, back to the important things. Oh, Warhammer yeah, Lord. No, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> well, what other topics do we currently have today? Is there anything else on the docket that we're... Uh... Yeah, on the topic of Warhammer Lord, how strong are the Tyranids? Pretty strong. Are, are we talking on the table or, like, at, lore in lore? Lore wise, it really depends. Okay, yeah, because I could never find like any consistent info about like yeah about that. Well, I, I mean, mean like, the, the the whole idea behind the Tyranids is that they're essentially like a swarm of like 
mm-hmm. like a, nev- a never ending <laughs> fucking dino swarm. bugs <laughs> yeah yeah pretty much it's like I think that it's like a more release about attrition rather than like, oh, I, raw strength. A good way to put it is like the Swarm Lord almost killed Marnius Calgar through Ultramarine plot armor. Hmm. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, like getting through Ultramarine plot armor is impressive, period. <laughs> yeah. But not. They're. They're a threat. Yeah. In a universe of a fuck ton of threats. And they're also, from what I understand, an, an, an extraterrestrial threat because don't they uh, uh, come extra from like the outer... yeah, galactic? That's the right word. Yeah, that was my bad. Yeah, they're they're from like the outer rim, like area. Oh no, they're, they're from another from... galaxy. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. So, so they are very um. I yeah. don't think they're going to be a real threat until Hive Fleet Kronos comes out of the warp. Mm. Because that's a thing now. Tyranids that eat warp beasts. Mm. Like Voidwell. <laughs> mm. Like. Okay. Oh. That's not a joke. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> okay, is it weirdly silent for everyone else? Uh, I yeah. think it's just because we've, we've I, run out of steam and we no, don't really I, have much else to say. I was trying really hard to not die that fight. Right. Okay. Yeah, because I was tanking and eventually a healer just stayed on me I was about to say on tabletop they're kind of garbage yeah well because on tabletop you're limited in terms of like how many units as well uh, it's kind of weird because it's 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 a species that's entire like premise is war of attrition numbers versus qu- yeah quantity you know that kind of thing and it, but you only have a certain amount of you know well that units. and their best unit is a heavy support mm. it's not like they have their space marines with intercessors right now and just a troop unit that can it the unit costs about the same as a card effects but Right. It's just easier to set up. Right, right. I think there's not a lot much else I can do on this drawing today. I and really save that. even a card effect is just a good unit. It's not an outstanding unit. Mm. They don't really have a lot of workhorses and really bad at going through armor. And this is a... It's a fucking addition that is heavily reliant on armor or just going through armor right wait did we actually have another Thing to talk about. Uh, let me have a look. What was on the list? Uh, uh, yes, we do. There is uh, yeah. Warcraft Three Rune. Yeah, there's bl- there's Blizzard being Blizzard. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what to call it. Okay, so Blizzard being Blizzard, Blizzard didn't get up hard. Oh my god. Uh oh, sweet! I just got a new upgrade. Uh, what's it called? Look at her butt. It. She must be one of those rap stars' girlfriends. I finally got a really, really good wrist armor. I haven't had a good wrist armor in a while. I've been using a blue, and now I'm using a purple that is like one, almost 
it's, it's almost a full two times better in every stat there is. Besides armor. Alright. So, Blizzard, you know. The company yeah, you know I, that, com that, that company that makes, like, amazing. games? Amazing. Yeah, yeah the one I'm company. playing currently, uh, the one I have loved and pretty much hoard myself out to for the past, like, um, 16 to 17 years... Yeah, that you one. know that one because Five, I'm a super four, huge Blizzard three, fanboy, two, but not really one. a boy. It's more of a fangirl. Yeah, <laughs> it's just that even girls are called fanboys, from what I've known. It, it, it's 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 yeah. it's kind of weird. I've always heard even girls called fanboys, and I'm always when it's over an object, it's a fanboying. When it's over a person, it's fangirling. Yeah, that's, that's a, literally that, it. That's, that's a good way to put it, actually. That's a really good way to put it. Chick right. taught me that. All right. Yeah. So, back to what I was saying. Warcraft 3, Runeforge. The, Warcraft 3 is the best game that was ever made. There, what? There is liter what? Best game ever made? What are you talking yes. about? Oh, don't worry, Joe. I mean, I, w I was Joe, about to say, that's not how you spell StarCraft. Uh, no. StarCraft was raped literally, like, near the beginning of its creation. Whenever it... Because StarCraft 2 and whatnot, it was... It released with that, um, copyright thing to... You know, the one that everyone's complaining about? Yeah, StarCraft 2 had that at the very beginning. And I didn't say StarCraft 2. StarCraft 2 died, like, day 3. StarCraft 1 was even worse. It had much worse, uh, kinda, what's it called? Like, mods and stuff. Like, WarCraft 3 was everything StarCraft 2 was, but a way more updated UI and way more, uh, better coding friendly. You could have way more, uh, bit size. It had way better balancing inside its things, and you could literally remake StarCraft 2 inside WarCraft 3, or StarCraft 1. You could do both, actually. You could re literally remake StarCraft 2 inside WarCraft 3. StarCraft, uh, like, literally StarCraft is, like, the lesser version of WarCraft 3. It's I don't know if, like, I don't know if, like, I don't know if, like, procedural iteration is really a good gauge of a game, because by that logic, right, Minecraft is the best game. No. But, no. That's uh, not how you spell Roblox. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. I'm not even saying that, because what's it called? When I say Warcraft, when StarCraft 2 could be created inside Warcraft 3, you can literally create all the animation, all the triggers, all the everything, because there's a world edit kind of thing that lets you create your maps and you have complete control to do whatever you want we've literally made maple story inside warcraft 3 you're right rogue is when we say that we've literally made first person shooters inside warcraft 3 it is the weird, it, like, the, Warcraft 3 is this RTS game, you know, you know, you're looking up above it. We found a way to make first-person shooters onto Warcraft 3, and we have and some. And, and obviously, wasn't there a really, really famous game that was made using yes. Warcraft? Yeah, yeah what was it? Dota. Dota. Yeah, what, uh, what, what could it be? Dota! Play? Dota. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there's a lot of. Here's the thing. Hilariously enough, Blizzard was about to lose their very last bit of relevancy in Warcraft Three because there was another game that not many people are talking about. Well, it's, that it's was important a, to note that like Dota did not come from Warcraft. It came from Starcraft. No, it didn't. No, it did because you know Bullshit. what? I have the fucking Brood War. I have the old ass Brood War <laughs> CD. Literally a defense of the ancients. Mode. Jo Joe's got the fucking receipt. I literally um, have yeah, the uh, freaking Warcraft 3 one as well. I don't give a shit if you have the Warcraft 3 I one. can literally go contact the, the creator. We're talking about progenitors right now. Motherfucker, I'll go con contact the creator. Oh, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking. I'm Do gonna, you know who I'm the creator gonna is? Insert, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a CD ROM just so I can install Brood War. 
I'll be like, oh, look, oh, what is this? Oh, defense of the agents. No, you're gonna go. You're gonna go. Motherfucker, I will regal, literally go contact a regal CD key. Motherfucker, <laughs> uh, because I'm busy making a Warcraft three video. Uh -huh. I am okay, going yeah, to uh -huh, literally uh -huh. go contact the creator. Just well, to guess what, wrong. bitch? Death of the author. We're in a postmodern. <laughs> That's <laughs> not how death of the author works. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, just a power scaler? Are you fallible? <laughs> are you a power scaler now? Get fucked. <laughs> That's oh, not, that's not how deadly all that works at all. Joe. Unknown versus Joe, let's go. <laughs> About the most retarded thing. <laughs> Fuck. That is the most retarded. Because, like, the thing is, right? I know that Defense of the Ancients existed uh, when I was really young, but I never had a copy of Warcraft. But I did have copies of Starcraft Brood War. D Defense of the Ancients existed when I was young on Warcraft 3 as well. It came out, like, I'm literally putting the timeline together, uh, like, on my fucking thing. It, well, it literally came by out. Starcraft, by Starcraft Brood War, <laughs> turns out. I'm enjoying this fucking rap battle going on I'm, right I'm, now. I'm, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to look, I will literally find out a way to somehow contact the... The person who made, uh, what's it called? They like, made it. What did you initially make this for? <laughs> I I will figure it out because I Blizzard contacted. Made the worst it's, here's the it's thing. Very, here's the thing. Very, the funniest it's very thing. Important. It's the very funniest important thing is. I know. <laughs> the funniest thing is I'm contacting quite a few map creators of like some of the greatest games on Warcraft Three, and I'm uh, getting interviews for, from them for my video. But, you know, I, I think I just have to get a Warcraft th uh, the Dota one now. <laughs> All I know is they made the greatest, just, the worst mistake possible. They pissed off their modding community. Yeah, that's never a good... Look, if I know anything about <sighs> Bethesda modding, right? If I know anything about modding in general, you don't fucking piss off your modding community. <laughs> because it doesn't fucking end well when you piss off the modding community. No, they like, keep your game alive. Exactly right. Like I know that um, because because in terms of Bethesda modding, right, I, the whole paid mod. Oh, Bethesda games would be unplayable right? 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 without mods. Yeah, like the whole the whole like I don't know what year it was, but when they were trying to do like the paid mods through Steam, right, where you would like pay for mods like you would like DLCs or whatever through Steam, and I remember that pissing so many people off. And the whole, like, people making, like, horse cock mods that they were selling for, like, $99 to buy a horse cock mod and all this other shit. And it's like, that that's that's the kind, you know, you don't piss off the mod community because those guys, you know, you should be trying to foster, give them the tools to do what they want to do, not fucking, you know, piss them off. Now, from what I understand, right, the issue is that they changed the terms of service, so now they pretty much own anything you make. Using okay, the, like, here's the thing. Correct? Like, like, yes, give me a refresh. Correct. Give me this a, give me a refresh. This is 100% correct. They changed it, yes, but that was actually a change that happened a long time ago. Most people aren't talking about that. That was already a thing. Okay. And I think that is actually one of the least important changes. Uh, oh, shit, I pulled Ragnaros. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. They, oh shit! No, he's fighting me again. Fuck. Okay, let me reincarnate. What happened was just bullshit, right there. Rip. I mean, is it the fact that you can no longer use copywritten images? Yes, that is. That's one. the issue. Oh, you gotta be shitting me! I landed in the lava. And oh, yeah, this I just, lava. I just saw that. Yes, yeah. the lava was at the spot, the one spot inside the entire lava area. This is the one spot. There's this one. Actually, there's a few. This one right over there and right over there. Those are the only spots that you can land in the lava and take fall damage. God. Damn it, I never die on Rag. This is... Oh my god. Not only did I die, but I died on a reincarnation as well. So I died twice in the first minute. God damn, that's, that's terrible. That's the worst I've ever had. Oh my god. 
Okay, back to what I was saying. What was I saying? Naretsu? Hello? Okay, something's wrong. Oh, wow. Okay, looks like uh, my my thing just all of a sudden cut out. Did Joe leave? Oh, man, it looks like Discord broke for a second. Everyone's disconnected. Uh, so, hey chat. No one has ever done the in the history of Dota, good game. Uh, well, let me look. I'm going to read chat as I do this because I literally can't do anything else. And Discord broke. Okay, so, I will tell you this. I've known that Discord is, at the moment, messing up. It has been, um, what's it called? I've been disconnecting all day from Discord. Uh, I do know they're making updates, but they're not showing that they're making updates. And that's what has been completely fucking my, um, thing. So, let's... Yeah, no, I don't think it's a DDoS. It's more of... I honestly do think they're just making a whole bunch of updates to how they do... Oh my god, we have not gone into a submerge since literally month one. This is the first time we've gone into a submerge since month one. Actually, holy shit. If we wipe on this, this would be the first wipe on Rag we have had since month one. Oh, yeah, everyone's talking in my chat that everyone's like, holy shit, Discord went down, no one has coordination. Oh my gosh, like all, like, no one was, uh, everyone's complaining that they weren't getting uh, directions on uh, when to move out and whatnot. Oh my god, communication of Discord just completely fucked our run. Oh my god. God, this is the first time I've... Oh my god. This is the first time I've ever wiped since uh, month one. I can't believe this. Oh, man. Um, give it a little bit of time. Uh, Discord should be fixing in a bit. Nah, uh, okay. Let me type this. I mean, I'm just going. Okay, so every Discord server is down. So, you know, I'm going to, instead of um, relying on the podcast, you know, I'm going to interact with the chat. So how's it going, chat? Um, I've been trying to do, I know Chandler has been asking to, um, what's it called, let him in, but... We've tried to been limiting this whole thing for a while. I thought I said that, Chandler, that we were limiting it. Did I not say that? Naretsu. <laughs> okay, I have more concerns about the bipolar, the weather, the things. There is one thing you can guarantee is times like this. Uh, let me... 
That's one thing that you can guarantee is times like this, even at the end point of the world, ship poster was a continue to ship post. Yes, this is true. I will always love to completely ship post every. Oh my god, er they're saying everyone to Ergot's Discord because Ergot's Discord is working, but every other thing is not. I'm almost tempted to just say the pseudo intellectual podcast should go there. <laughs> um. It. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can Warcraft Three run Doom? That would be one hell of a mod and would take forever to do, but I'm confident that they can make it happen. Chandler said, let me in. No one has ever uh, done that in the history of Dota. Sorry, I don't I don't know what that's in a reference to. If you type what that was in a reference to, I could uh, talk about it. Good game. Hi. Uh, Biker13. Hello. Iconic, you got your internet fixed, and the first time you have a stream, Discord goes down. Yep, that's just how it goes. Discord completely fucks up. You know, it's just one of those things. That's uh, got to fucking hurt. Yeah, it does. Hell Biker Thirteen. Oof. Chandler makes video. Uh, good game. Uh, fairy cord. Uh, F. I believe you. Uh, uh, I believe you did, and I forgot. Thun Ooh. Thunder Blitten. People port Doom and uh, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, I, don't, I just haven't seen a Doom mod in Warcraft 3. If it can be done, I'm sure people can do it. Because a lot of people have actually done first-person shooters and shit like that into Warcraft 3. It's just really, really long and really, really hard to do. I typed that in when you were, uh, Joe, arguing over Dota. Yes, okay, I knew it was over Dota. And felt oh, the need oh. to... Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I'm alive! Fixing. I'm alive! Yeah! Discord finish. Yay. We're back. Fuck. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Like, everyone just kind of stopped talking. And I was like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> and, then, and then I wasn't coming up as green when I knew my mic was working. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. I think this new Discord update's just fucked. Yeah, this new <laughs> Discord update has been... It literally just wiped my raid. Because we were in fight, mid-fight when it happened, and no one knew what to do because we rely on Discord so that our guildmaster tells everyone what to do. I don't rely on the guildmaster. I just know the fight by hand. I just had some really, really bad luck. Mm. Yeah, it's just like, fuck. So while we wait for people to come back, maybe, um, we were talking about... Um, not pissing off modders, right? Mm. Oh Cause, yeah, cause, that is the cause... worst thing you could do is pissing off your modding community because they are literally the life and blood of everything you do. Yeah, you and I was off... I I was talking about like my experience with like Bethesda modding, right? And the and the shit like the, the fucking shit that went down with um the paid mods on Steam and how how much of a fucking fiasco that was. It's just like I hope that um, game developers learn that yeah, having a very good modding setup to allow for mods is is just imperative for the survival of your game long term. It is. It literally is what kept Warcraft three alive for seventeen years. Heck, like yeah, and it's why people still play Skyrim to this day because mods. You know, like, there's no reason to play Skyrim if you don't have mods. In my opinion, it's just. It's, it, it's like I, I think it, Todd Howard, the the God Howard himself, even said in an interview, he was like, "I, I want um, the next Elder Scrolls to last eleven years." And I'm like, "Well, I, I know how you can do that pretty easily. You, you um, fix the fucking creation kit. You implement script extension into the game natively, so we don't have to use an external program to do it, or not program, but like external executable, right?" And you fucking just 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 open up the modding. Just be like, right, look, here's all of the tools, all of the things. So just fucking 
do, do your shit. Just do it. Have fun. That's how you do it. Hey, Stuffy. Stuffy's back. Hey. Stuffy, you're back. Yeah. Give me a second. Should we Not invite happens. Chandler? Go ahead. All right. Yeah, we could we could get Chandler in here for a bit, and then I'll probably head out later, maybe. Uh, what time is this? Yeah. 7.42. Yeah, I'll probably head out in like 20 minutes, so we'll get Chandler in. We'll see if Joe comes back. Yeah. I'll DM Joe specifically and say it's fixed. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Yo, what up? What up, my boy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're just just chilling out. Me and then me and Joe can t- argue back. about freaking um, what's it called, mm. Dota more. Like Joe, I have done the fucking research. I have done everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I I'm pretty sure from like from bits of information I remember that. Dota started in like Whoa, what, hap- what happened to your game there? Fucking, uh, you went purple screen there for a second. Not knowing on the stream, I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> that was crazy. Mm-hmm. Hello. Yeah. yeah Did my there. stream just freeze or something? Yeah, well, yeah, it was weird. Like your you, you, your stream. All right, there we go. It's starting. Oh uh, no! Is your router fucking up again? No, no, no. I, it just I don't know what happened. I was watching your stream and then I just saw like a fucking purple fucking flash screen come up and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> that was fucking weird. But anyway, you, got, um, you, you had to install Counter Strike Source. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, definitely the modding thing, and then that's what I th- I think. Um, Bef- um, not Bethesda, yeah. Blizzard is making a really big mistake with what they're doing because it's just I... pissing off the modding community. The, um, you you, you if unknown fucking told me what they did with their with their with how the game handled arrays. You you uh, you know about yeah. that, Naretsu? No, like I don't think Naretsu knows what arrays are. Okay, Probably arrays. You, yeah, you're, like, gonna, you're gonna you're gonna explain have to enlighten me. Yeah, okay, enlighten so me. in computer programming, arrays are basically like a list. Of, uh, uh, basically, like think of it like lists of objects. So like, right. uh, so, so like you'd think of it like like putting in- integers or floats or booleans into into brackets, and that like right. a single item containing multiple things. All right, okay. wait, wait, one second. Uh, now the thing is, blimp, with... hold on, hold on, one second. Third blimp, it almost became a metric of system is worth using. The fridge has a modder in it. Why would I pay for it? You can play Doom. Sold. That's hilarious for <laughs> one thing. It. I. I don't want to say that Warcraft Three is good because you can play Doom in it. I had a thousand more reasons about it, but we kept getting on this freaking Doom thing, and I was like, "Yes, it can do it. It can do it. I know it can." You just have to have someone that actually programs it, and you could do it. But I want to get to the uh, thousand other reasons why it's amazing. But yeah, let's get back anyway, to it. Anyway, could continue, continue. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so like usually arrays will arrays are the the way arrays are set are sorted by their indexes. They start at zero. So and so an array of length ten would be would go from zero to nine. Right. And, and a real length of 100, 0 to 99. Yep. What, Makes sense. What, Blitz, what Otaku told me that Blizzard did in their... In a they do recent, 1 to 99. It, it, yeah, in a Warcraft <laughs> 3 update, they, t- they, they, they fucking changed it so that arrays start at 1. And that uh, fucked yeah. up so many mods. I can see how that would fuck up a lot of shit, yeah. Yeah. I think Stuffy's having some mic problems because I can hear him clicking in and out. I mean, I'm muted, so... Oh, there we go. Oh, that'll, that'll be it. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that's, that's fucked, man. It's like, God. Yeah, what they're doing is just, I think, a really big misstep. I think it's going to cost them. Yeah. What the fuck yeah, are they it... smoking over there? Why they did that, I don't know. 
but they broke so many maps that a lot of people that retired because they said their map is done had to come out of retirement just to fix that array shit. <laughs> These are like people that said, I'm retired, I am done, this map is finished, I don't want to work on it anymore. And then Blizz is like, ah, you thought. Fuck, fuck <laughs> shit, <laughs> I'm out. Oh my god, I was like, motherfucker. I had to. What are they smoking yeah. over there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so many people put, like, so many freaking uh, fixes to their maps. They had to do that within, like, they did it within, like, a week, usually. Like, most of the map modders, they, they knew how to fix it. It is like, it's just time consuming to go through every it's, it's, single it's just spell a pain in, it's It's a pain in the ass, right? Every spell that uses it. And yeah, it's just a pain. It's it's boring work. Like you don't like here's the thing. Making an ability is probably the most fun thing I've done, like, when making shit. Like you you get to be so creative, you get to be like, Oh wait, how about trying this? And then you mix so many things together. Making the ability is probably like it's super fun. Most people probably will never understand this until you actually know how to code and actually know how to make these abilities. It is actually really fun. But when the ability is completely made and all you're doing is fixing glitches, understand this until you actually know how to code and actually know how to make these abilities. It is actually really fun. But when the ability is completely made and all you're doing is fixing glitches, that is actually the inverse instead of being really really fun it is really really boring mm. uh how okay so like so like how robust is is the ability to make a bit abilities what do you mean like, by that like how like uh, like uh, to what extent can, uh, are you able to make abilities is there is the sky the limit or is there a sort of like a sort of like limit on what you can do with that kind of power. I would assume the sky is a limit because we have gone. Okay, let me link you something. I'm not going to play it because it's going to. Um, for one, it could be copywritten, and two, it. I don't want the chat to hear it or whatnot, just because of what it would be. Uh, let me grab it so y'all can hear it. It's a racial slur, isn't it? No, it's not. <laughs> Is it right, man? No. <laughs> okay, you know Warcraft 3 and how, um, like, when it uses hammer justice, it's just a tiny hammer flying across the screen and then go... <laughs> you know, just that. <laughs> you, you get that from normal Warcraft 3 to this. You know what? Actually, let me see. You know what? I'm going to put it on screen. Oh I yeah, want, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah this. I just need to find a way. Hold on, I need to add a window capture. Hold on, that's in Warcraft Three. Yes. Did they turn Hammer of Justice into a penis? Because that would be hilarious. No. <laughs> okay, window capture isn't working. It turned it black. Right. Um, that's racist. I'm trying to figure out a way. So, oh wait, that's window capture. Doi delete. <laughs> I meant to say not window capture, display capture. Um, <clears throat> display capture. There we go. I'm going to play this. Hopefully, it doesn't copyright. And we'll see if it copyrights. This is what the extent of Warcraft Three. Has been able to do, and I've seen better abilities. This is just the one I have for now. When you go and actually am playing Warcraft 3, the modding community has done shit like this so much. <laughs> and it's just one of those things like it's completely changed how Warcraft 3 does stuff. And I think I accidentally left the thing on. I wonder if that was lagging it. I forgot I left the um, That is OBS impressive. On. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But anyway, I'm actually probably gonna drop out because I'm it's fucking almost eight PM and I'm gonna go rest because I've been drawing all day. But it was good it's good hanging out again. 
good good yeah, podcast good guys hunting. had a had a fun yeah. time and what I, are you drawing oh just art shit you know yeah, I might post, I see. post about it. Yeah, maybe maybe when I'm more finished with it, I'm just doing sketching at the moment. But um, yeah, I'll, uh, it almost showed off some metric of, of, Oh yeah, you are, are really. Chandler makes video. I saw uh, some guys getting dim working on the side of the truck, and then you linked a video. Uh, oh, well, you know what? I should probably just you know all of y'all just here's the thing. All of y'all, Noretsu comment, Stuffy comment. All right. All right. The <laughs> 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 stream. I see. Uh, so I can make an easy uh, mod. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yo. That alternate. Okay, I seen that alternate cutscene. It's not nearly as impressive as it Dude. was uh, made out to be. They. It. It, it just wasn't all. God. <laughs> 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 Stuffy. Do I do I allow or do I disallow? Ooh. I don't know. Hey, <laughs> it is perfectly okay. I did not use the actual word. <laughs> Added terms. <laughs> Look, you see, I I love that word. I love it all the, the bunch, but I I, I can't. We're use that on a sure. we're on a very very uptight platform. Anyway, yeah. so yeah, I gotta head out, guys. It's been fun. I'll catch you later. Holy shit, I've used my bus. Why are they taking forever to? Why are people talking about Murdoch? Oh, whatever. Um, all right. Well, see you later, Nuretsu. You gotta go. Wait, are they talking about Murdoch? Murdoch? Uh, no. There's a certain character inside. Wow. Uh. Uh, called Murdoch, and like he he's done a lot of things inside the server. Let's just we'll keep it at that until uh, my video comes out. In the in the specific server you're playing in, yeah. Okay. I think they're all still trying to figure out which Discord to use because they were telling each other to use like three different Discords. They were saying use Ergos Discord, they were saying use a, uh, another person's Discord, and then they were saying use the normal person's Discord, and I think they're all, like, arguing right now. I think we're summoning someone. What the heck? We're summoning Snoyark. What was Snoyark? How did he get out? I think he ran back. Oh! Uh, there was yeah. someone who was dead. Are, are you wanting to show the game chat on stream? No, I was not. I forgot to undo display capture. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for saying that. Okay. I completely forgot. Hmm. Because I know apparently there's like some rule against showing game chat. Like if someone doesn't want it shown, that is like. It's a stupid rule. No, it's the fact that people will put an N in the game chat. No, there's actually yeah. a rule against showing, uh, what's it called? Game chat if someone doesn't want it shown. That's stupid. A yes, blizzard enforced rule? Well, Twitch more if someone reports it. If they uh, were in here. It's actually really stupid. Yeah. Um, honestly, I, I don't think that should be a rule. Just because of the fact of this is a public. Well, welcome to California. Kind of I know it is so stupid, and I wasted my um, two things. So I'm waiting for right when we're pulling, and then I'm going to uh, use it mm -hmm. because uh, I thought we were pulling right then and there. My freaking repair bill is six gold nearly. <laughs> thankfully i have about 175 gold on this character but my mage is somewhere upward around 900 and my level 5 druid is almost a thousand my freaking level 35 druid has been my money maker so wait so you can have multiple characters in this game oh yeah oh, you yeah. can have 10 on one cool. server Damn. 
Uh, which is why my... Like, if you look at my uh, character list, I have almost every single profession completely done. Because I have enough characters to do almost every single profession. So I almost... I pretty much never have to ask anyone... Uh, what's it called? I never have to ask anyone to do any uh, thing for me, except for enchanting. I'm a guild enchanter, uh, but at the same time, I have to uh, ask someone to do my enchants. Hmm. Uh, what's it called? I am looking to buy the arcane elixir recipe with my level 35. Let me look at it. Crafting uh unit potions no stats here it is uh it's called the greater arcane elixir it sells for anywhere from 600 to a thousand gold and i'm trying to buy it uh so i can make the greater arcane elixirs i have enough mats to make about 2000 ish gold if i had all my stuff sell instantly so clearly it's not going to sell instantly. I'm going to make my money back over time. But I have enough mats to just spam that potion until I get my money's worth. Because I have I... an insane amount of... Okay, you don't know gold in this game. So let's just say an epic mount is really hard to get. That's 1,000 gold. This is something I don't okay. see many people have. I, I've seen probably... In this server, I've probably only seen about... A few hundred... Maybe a hundred or so people have it. I'm sure more than that have it, but I've only seen a few hundred. Almost everyone in this guild has their 60 speed. Uh, What's it called? And all that shit. It's just crazy. Oh, okay. okay, all right. See you later, Balto. Uh, we're about to pull rag. Apparently, they're about to start it. From what they're saying, and here you go wiping. In. And before you wipe again. Yeah, I know. All right, I know the pull rings of rag, so I'm yeah. just gonna get in the spot. Yeah, I I think I remember you telling me that your old Warcraft account was worth thousands of dollars or wow. something like that. Probably more. Yeah. Um, I have an insane amount of stuff that you can't get anymore. Damn. Uh, yeah. And I say it's still like that. If I log out and log on to my WoW account, it's still like that. By the way, what were we talking about before this whole thing happened? Let me um, contact Joe real fast. We were talking about modded horse cock. No, let's not talk about that. <laughs> Not on stream, at least. Oh, man. <laughs> you see, everyone's, like, so far away, like, away from it. I'm, like, right up to it. I know where I pull. Oh. It's actually, uh, I looked at it. It's actually at oh. this spawn right here. So I could actually keep taking steps forward if I wanted. It's right here where I pull. Okay. I actually know exactly like, where it is, but you know they they don't want me to get close to it because they've. I remember when I got close to it over here once, they were yelling at me in the freaking Discord and like, "Get the fuck away from it!" And it was like, okay, so you're on top of a spawner or something? He's right here. Uh. All right. Okay, so. It, it's just uh what's it called he has a uh, um aggro range and shit like that ah okay and you're alone in that specific spot if uh so like i so if i like didn't know any bit better probably still don't but i i'd assume that that was like some kind of diversion tactic uh that's just where i'm supposed to stand because there's certain mechanics inside this game uh what's it called that you have to avoid so I have to be at certain spots. Ah, okay. Uh, and the only way to do it is I have to stand Yo, there because I have to up. stay. Oh, hey, Joe! I have to stand Yo. there because I have to Hello, stand Marxist. away from all the other people because I have mana, and because I have mana, I can be targeted mm -hmm. for a certain spell that um, 
can't be used on people without mana. But I still also need to um, give them the buffs that I don't have the armor to, what's it called, keep giving them. So I actually have to go without the buffs unless I stand right here. But I'm supposed to be standing like right over there so I can have a healer. But I'm to the point that I'm saying, whoops, I almost... I'm saying fuck that. I don't I don't care. I'll heal myself as long as I um get my freaking totem buffs. Alright. So I will stay over here uh and do all this so I can get my own totem buffs. That's how totem. I'm doing. Yeah, totem buffs. Sounds like something you gotta rely on another member for then? Nope. I uh. I do it all myself. I have to use mine so I buff everyone else. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Um I'm a support person even though I'm like really high DPS anyways. Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I can also be a tank, but I um am not tanking this one. Mm -hmm. Because it's a little too high. <laughs> I could I could do it if I re if we really figure it out Shit, I wasn't paying attention. Sweet. I used my pot in time. Nope, and you. I didn't jump in time. Uh, It's just you and me now. Alright. What? Uh, It's just you and me in the VC now, unless... Or, yeah, Joe left. I don't know why, but Stuffy is... Stuffy is Stuffy. I'm pretty sure he's gonna come back. Actually, yo, Joe, come back. Was it because I call him a commie? Yeah, he didn't call him a commie. You called him a Marxist. Holy shit! How did we die? Same again? difference. This is the worst we've ever done. I Brad. fucking told you. <laughs> no, uh, what's it called? We didn't die, die. We we went to submerge, and submerge is like a really, really hard kind of thing. <clears throat> we normally kill Rag in under two minutes. Uh. This is so strange. I haven't had a. Uh... We haven't had this. How many people do we have? Oh, we're missing five people. That is why. Okay, we're missing what, five. What hey, there you are, Joe. Yeah, what up? Yeah, well, you what did in DC. I was just finishing what I was talking about. Cool. All right, so uh, we're still talking about the Runeforge thing. So yeah, yeah, one of the things I hate about the Rune Forge is that Oh my god, you fucking you draw me in here, god fucking damn it. What? <laughs> uh <laughs> Oh, I see what happened. I'm reading the chat. And a lot of people stayed out of Discord because it was broken for them even in the other chats. That's what happened. So now everyone's getting into Discord so they can um, coordinate. A lot of people were apparently dying throughout the fight. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you saw me last almost to the end. And I wasn't even inside there. <laughs> I just know how the fight goes. The the that first attempt or this the second this one. attempt. This one. Of course this one. Uh, Not the first attempt. The first attempt was terrible. Like I had a whole bunch of RNG that just went wrong for me. Imagine putting RNG in a game. I mean, my map does have RNGs. What the fuck? Why did Joe leave? Uh <laughs> Okay. Okay, hold on. Chandler, leave. 
Leave for a second. I'm going to do the call again. Yo, what up? Yo, can you hear us? Yeah, what up? Yeah, did you not hear us the last time? No, what'd you say? Okay, I was so weird. Uh, this was so weird because you weren't... Uh, you left and everything. Uh-huh. Uh, right. so... Uh, I don't know. You guys are talking about stuff that <laughs> I not really care about. I'm willing to bet that whatever happened to Stuffy also happened to Joe. Okay. Yeah, Discord just randomly shit the bed. God damn Discord. Why... Why the fuck are you doing this of all days? Like, I finally get uh, able to stream, and then... Oh, fuck, I don't... I just fell down at a spot I shouldn't have. There we go. Mm-hmm. Of all day, I fell down again. <laughs> me being a little drunk. This keeps making me fall. Ugh. This is... Yeah, it's... I, I, I don't think I'd expect a game that looks like this to have fall damage. <laughs> No, it definitely does, but I was falling in the lava. Yeah, it used to actually be an achievement to fall off the highest point of Thunder Bluff and not die. Well, people <laughs> use Shatterath. Oh, wait, actually. See, once engineering became a thing, people just used the gnome parachute. Well, that's only if you're engineering. The gnome parachute? You just freaking use the yep. flying mount anywhere you want. It's it's fucking called yeah, the but gnome this is... parachute. The gnomish parachute. Yeah. Cloak. Okay. Uh, because this gnomish engineering, you have to um, how, learn how, how to do the engineering from a gnome. Because yeah, it was really technology one of the... sa tech savvy. It was one of the, what was it, four or five actually useful ones? Um, no, every single. Thing. No. Oh, what the hell are you talking about? Engineering is hella useful. Look, there's not much more useful than the goblin jumper cables. Yes, there is. <laughs> that is not even close to being true, especially in classic. What's it called? Classic, probably the most useful thing is your freaking bombs. Because you can literally, like, when Blackwing Lair is finally released, if you have 40 people, which you should actually have 40 people all engineering, because you're a hardcore raiding guild, you can skip phase 2 of Nefarian. Literally by everyone placing down a goblin slapper charge. Everyone placing a goblin sapper charge, and when phase two comes, when it spawns like 100 to 150 units at once, all of them explode instantaneously, and it skips phase two of Nefarian, and you go straight to phase three. Uh, Like a cluster bomb, then? Yes, it is a bomb that uh, you set, and it explodes and deals damage, and if all everyone uses it at once... It completely bypasses it, a really hard phase. This is not like some easy peasy phase. No, this phase is actually supposed to be difficult that people wipe on. You hmm. can actually cheese the entire phase just by having everyone engineering. Like, there's a lot of things. You know why? Freaking, um... Almost every engineering thing was banned, like, not able to be used in Arena just because of how strong it was. Um, hold on, they're doing a ready check, which means they're about to pull. Uh, ten seconds for this. All right. Hello? Uh, hey. I was uh, doing this real fast. Just this. And then this. This is crazy. Um, how long is this? <laughs> um, gob freaking engineering right now is so overpowered. It doesn't matter what class you are, you should be engineering. <laughs> Mm. 
Sounds about as OP as a sentry gun in TF2, then. Yes and no. Uh, what's it called? In classic, it is actually supposed to be really overpowered. In not classic, such as um, what's it called? Uh, in Burning Crusade, it's actually leatherworking. Leatherworking <clears throat> is um really really powerful, as it has uh you don't need a shaman to bloodlust. You can actually <laughs> leatherworking use cluster bombs. <laughs> And then Lich King, it was engineering again. Yeah. Cat and pa Pandas, up until they refit, retooled professions, it was blacksmithing because of its passive. Damn it. They I, did a I, test to see who was I think I remember school. seeing commercials for the Pandas expansion on TV a few years ago. Was that Warcraft 3? No. But if it was for pandas, it was like a decade ago. Okay. Oh, man. I hope they don't ask me to join the Discord because I was like, literally, I've not been messing up because people haven't been calling it out. I've been messing up because of freaking RNG. Are you sure about that? Yes, literally. L let's see if I they mean, look, call me in. If you get called in the Discord, we'll just entertain them with Warhammer lore. No, you can't do that because <laughs> I'm the one that goes... You can't hear them without me. Yeah, that's the problem with that. Four, yeah. three, Good, they're pulling. They're not asking one. me. They're asking everyone else but me. <laughs> they They literally listed off everyone that clicked ready except for me. <laughs> oh man sounds like you're about to get kicked no it's because I know how to do these fights okay I'm just a little drunk though <laughs> okay so you're drunk off your ass then no just a little I've had half a cup and by cup, I mean this giant cup that is about the size of my forearm. I think I know your definition of a little otaku. Yeah, but it's fireball, so whatever. Fireball's still 33%. Like, people talk and say, oh, you know, fireball is not that strong. And it's like, yeah, but the thing that they say is strong is, like, usually 40%. And I drink enough to definitely make up for that. Cask strength or nothing. Cask strength, what? Cask strength is usually like 150 proof. Yeah, okay, that's... So around 70. Yeah. <clears throat> Dude, I started my... When I would drink, uh, my go-to was 100 proof. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a better flavor. It's usually a little harsher, but... But... It has a better flavor to it. What okay, just... are you trying to say? You don't have balls, like like how can you not <laughs> do Everclear? Shit, man, we're not even. It was illegal to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I could get almost as strong from the dude that I can't name. Shit, I almost went in at the wrong time. <laughs> Well, just just make sure you don't projectile vomit all over the bathroom. I that was hilarious. They did the freaking flames of sulfur on on me because I ran in a little too early. But at the same time, because my fire resist is so freaking high, I completely resisted it. <laughs> I saw that. I saw. I just saw nothing but flame on the screen for a whole second. Here we go. Let me go to these people and place down the buffs because it just disappeared. Let's see. Submerge in 15 seconds. Let's see if we can just down it. I'm going to stay it. I don't give a shit. Like, I want to kill this thing before it submerges because there we go. <sighs> Did y'all get, get it? Yep. It, it's killed. Nice. Third time's a charm. Sweet! A tanking trinket dropped. 
to heal nice. the solar drop. So I might be getting a new tra tanking trinket. All depends. Oh man, I can't wait until this. Uh, I I should have been equipping this um this <laughs> one um new bracer I had, but whatever. Mm -hmm. I need to enchant it. That's definitely for sure. <sighs> All right, so Warcraft man, that was one of the best quality of life changes they ever did, and wow, it is enchanting the... scrolls. Yes, it is. All right, don't fuck up now. Yes, I know. No, Viker. I see. I didn't fuck up a single time, even though I um, I probably can't walk straight. <laughs> Let's see. Right now they're rolling on the shield. That would be a three. I'm just gonna type three. One is a bit of a joke, and two is like it's okay for me. That's a pretty good shield. Um, it would only be how good for when I... I have a heal spec. How come I never hear about Warcraft 2? Um, because Warcraft 3 was such... Um, like, it improved on literally everything there was. Like, Warcraft 3 was the definitive, like, best game that there was. Ah, okay. All right, so that was passed out. What's next? Blood pants, of course. I'm going with the rogue item. <laughs> this earthbound kit. That's good for a healer, but I'm not a healer. Hilariously enough, I actually have uh, an entire heal set in my bank. Uh, I never heal. But when I do, when they need me as a healer, I am ready as a healer because I have an entire raid, almost an entire raid set heal set. Okay. I thought Joe so, was going to uh, say I don't often heal, but like, when I do, I prefer to I'm, Saki's. <laughs> so, uh, like, I'm I'm kind of out of, a, out of the loop about Warcraft 3 Reforged. What? Okay, so, okay, there's so many things wrong with it. Um... <laughs> Okay, let me link you this image real fast. Um, and then, because chat won't be able to see it, I'll read it. Warcraft. Uh, I'm no. going to hit the snack. It's Not yet. Like one. Dude, it's two in the morning. Yeah, but we're almost done. Yeah. Here's an entire thing if you want to read it. This is all the things that they changed. That was in classic, but not in more. Chandler, Ooh. you want to read off? Hey, no clans, no profiles, can no longer have more than one account, no more custom campaign functionality, no more Reign of Chaos balance for the Reign of Chaos campaign. What? Okay, no more built-in tournament functionality, no more the Frozen Throne menu screen, no more land functionality, no more offline games versus the AI. No more cross chat with Diablo 2 players. No more commands. Remove friend list. Removed custom game filter. Custom game list is no longer global. You can't play custom games with people from other regions. No MMR system. What's MMR, though? Matchmaking rating. Yes. Okay. That's actually worse than everything else. No custom key binds. Remove the draw. I add, I'm so wasted voice line. Possibly others missing that have yet to be discovered. P cut all the promised new cutscenes. What? Okay. Cut all the new English voice acting. New foreign doves, which are inferior and compulsory, cannot be changed back. C cut promised new story content. Arthas and Illidan cutscene looks like cheap fan made YouTube shit. And menu is awful and unfinished with chat clipping. Oh my god, that is terrible, the menu. I looked at that. Wait, menu. is this just the V thread about it? Uh, this is a thread that was all made of everything that they could find that was different. 
Okay. Like the no MMR is probably I would say that's actually the worst thing they did. In my opinion, yeah. that's not the worst. The two worst, in my opinion, is the friend list and clans because that is kind of what people logged in for to play with their friends, talk to people, and socialize. You literally just had years of knowing people gone. Yeah, but like getting rid of matchmaking really hurts like the play ver player versus player. I'm not done. Okay. You're not he's not done. But seriously, like when you've played for sixteen years, you're going to have a friends list. You're gonna have a Yeah, like a they did three things that were ridiculous. Yeah, they literally like, just destroyed anyone with a friends list. Like that and is... then they destroyed anyone who wants to, to log on and have a fair game. Yeah, that too. Because you could pay, go up against so you've been playing sixteen years, and you could run up against someone who just picked up the game the day before. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I would just be opposed to the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> like, I let mean, me I let me get my rank in peace. It'd be no fun. Okay, there's more. The end of match summary is completely butchered and doesn't tell you useful info. The old client is gone. Even if you don't own Reforge, you're forcing her to re into replacing it if you ever connect to Bnet. Yep. Sh yeah. Shite. Okay. Yeah, Custom maps now have a report button, so Blizzard can ban maps and ban people hosting them. Mm -hmm. uh... And finally, remember, this was delayed before release. Fuck. Yeah, it was actually delayed a few months. Like, it's actually impressive how badly they fucked this up. Yeah. Imagine being Blizzard. Like, the, what they showed at BlizzCon looked like it was going to look like something out of WoW, but then it ended up looking something out of the Nintendo 64. <laughs> I mean, I would have gone with the joke and looked... It looked like it was going to be something out of WoW, but it turned out to look like something out of WoW Classic. Yeah. Okay, I think I might have saw some... No, Warcraft WoW Classic three... looks better. Okay. okay, I think I might have saw some screenshots of the Reforged graphics on Twitter, and and one of them reminded me of, like, the PS1 Hagrid. Here's the thing. Because I didn't go into Reforged knowing that there was going to be like massive like i knew there was going to be changes to the profile but i didn't actually look at all the stuff that was going to be changed to each character skin and whatnot it looked actually pretty fucking good in comparison to what is normally done like it is actually fucking amazing i will say that it's not Dude, were you running deviant, deviant no. delight the entire raid maybe <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back to what I was saying. Um it it looks fucking amazing to uh actually see like because they upgraded an insane amount of things. Like those people that are complaining because the Arthas uh Death Knight looks the same as the tutorial Death Knight, it's like who the fuck cares? It looks fucking amazing. Yeah, I was about to say, you're turning this down to dog shit settings anyway, so it runs smooth. Right. No, so, right, so but, like, it's more the power of art direction than graphical fidelity. No, I mean, like, all these art, like, art, the, here's the real problem. The real problem is where it starts lagging that you have to turn off shadows and shit like that. And you have to <sighs> actually be um, doing a whole bunch, like, they made it a lot laggier with all this new shit. That is a huge problem. They did upgrade the looks. The looks are actually amazing. I fuck whoever keeps complaining about the looks because the looks look infinitely better than what it uh, was. Sure, Blizzard promised something way better, but holy shit, what we got is still insanely good. Um, let's see. Okay. I went to go try and I to doubt play. This I it doubt this could be counted as false, legally counted as false advertising somehow. It probably could, but 
because they literally are still advertising to this day certain stuff that are not even in the game yet. Okay, that is... They are that... literally still advertising a whole bunch of shit that's not inside the game. That is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Yeah, um... So, back to what I was saying. Um... There's a few things that are actually pretty awesome, I will say. But there's a few other things that I'm like, seriously, because Blizzard. Um, let's see. I was about to say a few things right before you said that. Oh, let's see. They pissed off modders. They pissed yes, off. Yes, we did. They, 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 they definitely pissed me off with them. Like, it's not even the fact that they own whatever I do. And it's like, I was never planning to, like, make my own game. So I honestly don't give a shit. But then there's this report thing that you can report maps in anyone that hosts those maps because they have copyrighted material. If you host an amazing game that has copyrighted material and you win in that game, people control the shit out of you by reporting you and get you banned. Yep. And that is on that account, like that account, and you would have to make an entire new Battle.net account just to play again. What the fuck? And that is where. And then, oh, and they got rid of Smurfing accounts. What do you mean, Smurfing? Uh, you're not allowed to have multiple accounts, so you're not oh, allowed yeah. to like have an account at a lower rank. Yeah, I know. They got oh. rid of that, and I. Well, you could still, like, all this stuff is still technically possible, but you would have to pay a lot of money to keep doing it. It's a monetization tactic. And, like, I don't like where this Runeforge has been going, because the way that it looks is, like, they saw... I mean, the best way I know to put it is see if you can get your refund from 16 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the refund would be somewhere around less than a year ago, and most people have been. Just because of um, they promised a refund soon. And I'm like, I want to do the refund. I really want to. But at the same time, my computer's strong enough that I can actually play Warcraft 3. The biggest... Oh, that's what I was going to say. The biggest drawback that I fucking hate. I don't know why they broke this. But they broke cross-server um, uh, hosting of games. Oh my god. So like, if it sounds like anything they could have done that was wrong. They did. They did it. Yep. So... There's this thing where Blizzard is, um, like, uh, maps, because of Dota, took almost all the players that there was. There is a thing called cross-server play, where um, they have uh, US we East, US West, and all of them. They all play together on one thing, so if you're in one, you're in all of them. They took that down. You can't play with What them. was the advantage of that? There is none. Okay. They they did it. We don't know why. They just did. That is one of the things that is listed inside that list as well. And I uh, have witnessed a significant drop in how, like how quickly you can play the game. It takes a lot longer to fill a game. It is insanely terrible. It is. Honestly, it's gotten to the point that I barely play in game. We are still playing a lot of anime games. Um, here's the thing. Blizzard isn't enforcing it as hard as they were with StarCraft 2. That is one thing that is amazing so far, but it's pr we don't know if that's going to change yet. Like, if you try to play an anime game in War StarCraft 2, fuck that. You're not doing it. Like, you, you have to submit a map and Blizzard has to approve it. Blizzard in Warcraft 3 is letting you host whatever map, but people have can report it. That's the difference. Uh, and because uh, of that, uh, we're actually seeing. So no more Kirito, then. Yeah. 
No, uh, well, technically no. Um, but at the same time, no one's having it like that for now. So I have no clue. Uh, we none of us know what's going to happen for now. A lot of us are just at the waiting period. And it's like, well, I don't know what's going to happen. Race war. Race war? Yep. What do you mean? <laughs> Race war. Okay. Supremacy. Yeah, so a lot of us are just waiting to see what happens. It, so this update could be one of the best updates ever or one of the worst updates Five, ever. Four, three, two, one. Uh, I still have my fire resistance shit on, so I can go fight like this. Cool. Oof. Let's see what happens. Yeah, these freaking things normally do enough fire damage to nearly kill you in one hit. But because I have so much fire resistance, it barely hurts. We're all act. A lot of us actually have recently. Oh my god, we were fighting two at once. I didn't even notice. One is enough to pretty much kill you, and we were fighting two at once. Uh -huh. We have so much fire resistance. We're just blowing through this now. A lot of us have uh, nearly maxed out our fire resistance. Five, Let's talk about waiting period. Three, that reminds me, two, how's Kappa one. going these days? I have looked at a few channels. A few channels have been um, hit with Kappa. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, a few channels have been hit with it, but not like to yes and no. I would say I like I honestly can't tell what is going on with Kappa because when I look at it, it's more like YouTube says, "Oh, this content's made for kids," so they keep it made for kids. Because one thing I uh, one person asked on Twitter is um, because they said they brought up Kappa as a general audience. And here's the, the kicker. Here's the thing that YouTube isn't saying. If your channel is for a general audience, what you're supposed to select, what what YouTube themselves has said, if your channel is for a general audience, you're supposed to select is made for kids. Fuck off. And we and they did it for a week, and they sh posted the results of what happened. They went from making millions of views to less than like a like a few thousand. Asshole, Susan. That is Wischke. how huge of a difference that is. Susan, right back in the second. Ah, man, that is. Five, four, three, two, one. You are going to DPS right. very, very slowly. Oh, shit. <laughs> the fucking, okay, like, the fucking audacity to say that general audience is made for kids. Like, no. Oh, no, yeah, there's so just many when you start saying fuck shit and cunt in every video. Hey, oh, hey, don't try to get me banned. But what's it called? You can say all three of those words on Twitch. I don't know about that. What are those words? I don't want to repeat. I don't think you can. <laughs> and I'm sure you know which word I'm talking about. Fuck. <laughs> sure, we'll say that. Yeah. You know which one I'm talking about, you motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. Okay. Let's try this. I'm at 222 fire resist, so let's see what happens. Oh, shit. There we go. I just reduced my threat. Okay. What the fuck happened? We have these freaking... <laughs> We just wiped because for some shit reason, these two things spawned on us. Uh, okay, so like, 
so like whenever someone's making ad revenue on a YouTube video, that's money, that's technically money that YouTube has to give to them. Yes. How did they even respawn? We apparently pulled respawns. <sighs> that so... doesn't make any sense of what just happened on that fight. We wiped on Oni in the weirdest way possible. We are not having good luck today. <laughs> we literally just glitched Oni to fight Oni plus uh, the two uh, freaking things that if you normally pull both of them, uh, a normal raid wipes, but we have so much fire resistance we can take two at once. Yeah, but we can't take Oni and two of them. Mm. Oh my god, I don't know what the hell happened there. Nice fucking RNG. <laughs> That's oh. what happened. God damn it, Blizzard. You and your shitty ass coding. <laughs> Does Yandere Dev work for Blizzard? Possibly. <laughs> yeah. Remember when Blizzard was known for their games being quality from the get go? Yes. <laughs> and now it's seen as like an afterthought. Yeah, now they're known for horrible the balancing in a shit meta constantly. Yeah, I know. Here's the thing I have never been fucking up on these. We have one shot to all molten core. Instantly, we usually split run Oni. Split run, meaning half of us do uh, one thing and half of us do the other, and we do it no problem. Now that I'm streaming, everyone's we're all fucking up. <laughs> I notice streaming tends to bring bad luck. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, yeah. let me read some of the things that people have been saying. Um, that's yeah. insane. Okay, no one has been talking in a while. Um, okay. yeah, so, is there anyone actually watching besides, and I see there's seven people watching us. Um, no, there is no one else watching. No, it says seven. Yeah, so, like, the thing with the YouTube ad revenue, I imagine that's, that that's money that YouTube has to, has to give away to other YouTubers. Is that is that am I correct what? in that assumption? What 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 do you mean by that? Okay, like YouTube ad revenue. What about? Uh, it? Okay, so uh, so like whenever my, if someone is making money on YouTube videos, is that money coming out of YouTube's pocket? No. Uh, what do you not understand how ads work on YouTube? <laughs> Probably okay, not. so here's the thing. What companies do, they pay YouTube to run ads on their website. And because creators make videos, they give them a, a little bit of that um, uh, money, but YouTube keeps the majority of it. Ah, because they're hosting. Okay. Wait, is it, what's the percentage now? Because I remember it, it used to be 70 30. It used to be 70 30. I think it's now uh, 55 45. Wow, 45 that's... being the creator. Last time I heard. Okay. That sucks. I don't know the exact percentage because they don't tell you that really, but people have guesstimated. Yeah. That. Dude, that would fucking hurt. If I you mean, were used to getting seventy percent. I mean, you actually used to get more than that. Like when it first yeah, started but... coming out, it was like yeah, it was ninety like... ten originally. Yeah. yeah, it was around that. <laughs> Which is actually kind of. But originally, you also had to get just some obscene number to get ad revenue. Yeah, uh, mm. when it came down to it, you were like. If okay. you could get ad revenue back then, you were part of the millionaire. Okay, so like the thing uh, with, so like the thing YouTube's doing with like categorizing general general audience that's made for kids has nothing to do to do with money. So like, it's just ha it, so it's just more like I don't want to no, deal with playing safe. Yeah, playing safe. No, that's not even playing safe because um, what's it called? 
if they wanted to play safe, they would have um, done the easy solution and just force people of content over the age of 13 to sign in. Yeah. It's literally them wanting to still make money, but have all their uh, uh, all the liability off of them. Okay. Which is going to be funny when they get hit instead of the creator. When? If they get hit, like, I would not go to bat for, for YouTube without uh, shit. No, no one's going to go to bat for YouTube because YouTube has consistently fucked over creators. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when Google's slogan was, don't be evil? No. <laughs> I actually don't remember that. Uh, it was like 2008, 2009. No. Google actually refused to interfere in the election. Oh, Biker 13 and... says, I'm playing uh, Devil May Cry 5 while listening. That's nice. I haven't seen Devil May Cry in a while. I haven't played Devil May Cry in a while. Mm-hmm. I, knew yeah. you played, I knew you played other games. Oh, yeah. Uh, but you, I haven't played other games in a while. Like, I used to, like, here's the thing. You'll find out in my Warcraft 3 video that I played other games. Why is everyone leaving? Oh, those are the people that were disconnected. Okay, so you'll see, because I played somewhere around, like, two to three hundred different games. But I haven't played any in a long time. I am out of those, uh... Freaking Five, buffs. I've never four, had to use three, ten of them. Two, That's insane. One. Like this this has been an insane run. I'm You're out of whipper tuber rubers. I'm very, almost out of demonic boring. runes. I there's just so much that is just flat out insane with this. Hmm. Which oh what the hell? Oh, that guy looks imposing. They didn't, like they didn't put me in the melee group? Or the tank group? What? I'm almost always in the tank group. Okay, whatever. Now hit it very hard and very fast. Okay, whatever. They're doing whatever they do. I think it's because right, I'm not in eat. the chat and they know I'm not. Because I told them that I can't talk in the chat. Which is kind of true. I can't. I last time I tried, it wasn't working. Yeah. What? Watch it. Watch your whole team get wiped again. Oh shit! I need. I need to calm down. Okay. I can start attacking again. I just went from number one DPS to number 11. Well, actually, it was number three, but, you know, what's the difference? <laughs> Let me actually... Damn it, didn't get hit by the wing buff. Oh, no. So, Warcraft 3, in all honesty, it was one of the best games I ever played. Because my favorite games was definitely the... There we go. I got my threat reduced, which means I can now burst a bit. I don't see enough dogs. Oh, Where now that it's now? going to stage 2, I can burst as much as I want. And plus, I got threat reduction. <sighs> Throw more dots. More dots, more dots. Demonic Come rune. On, more dots. Oh, I created a demonic rune, which means I just got double the Left, mana. Left side, even side, many whelps. Now handle it. Okay, one of my favorite games in Warcraft Three was definitely some of the anime-related ones. Uh yeah. It was a lot like Dota. But with anime characters, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. Because here's the thing. I don't inherently hate how Dota made their games and whatnot. Like, uh, Do the concept of Dota is not only something I like, but it's actually really fucking brilliant. 
in all honesty, if I could play something, it would be that kind of game forever. Like, if I could only choose one game, or one type of game, it would probably be something like that. Uh, let's go. But at the same time, it's just gotten to the point that, um, that, uh, what's it called? Holy shit, we just knocked them down to stage Beware. three instantly. <laughs> oh, fuck, 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 fuck. You are going to DPS I just very, got very slowly. It. Beware. Hit it like you mean it. A healing wave. I don't know what the hell just happened there, but you know. Now hit it very hard and very fast. Mm -hmm. A healing wave. I don't know what the hell just happened there, but you know. Now hit it very hard and very fast. I forgot we're in like a 40 raid group because holy shit the amount of DPS we did we instantly got Beware. it to pretty much stage um, 2 or 3 like I haven't seen us uh, clear Onyxia that fast we're about to get record victory because of that I was not expecting Onyxia to go down that fast nice GG well, no, because we could have probably split group, but Beware. we didn't. Okay. Ugh. But we were probably... I, I would assume they did a talk to where they didn't split group because of Discord fucking up. Because if Discord fucked up again... Yeah. Alright, we're almost to the point I have to end it because we have a guild meeting soon. Okay. Is there anything left to talk about? You were talk you were talking about something about Warcraft three and Dota. Yes. And I will probably go more in depth about that inside the video I'm making because my script is eight and a half pages long at the moment. And I'm probably not even halfway done. And I'm going to talk about exactly why Warcraft three was in my opinion the best game ever. I have like functionality story wise and everything just all built into one giant script. And I'm also comparing it to a whole bunch of RTSs that I used to play in uh my childhood and everything like that. And why it is so important to me and why it's actually just amazing all around. And why I'm just disappointed in the way that this all went. All right. Uh, Looking forward to it. Yeah. So, stream's over. Not yet. Yep. What is everyone rolling for? Did they say roll for the bag? I don't know. I'm rolling anyways. Because it seems like every single person in the raid roll, and I doubt they're rolling for the robe. No, Dark Fire Scott. The head of Ten Storms. That's bullshit. There's no way they're all rolling for that. Exuma They're probably saying that oh sorry. Oh, if you have the bag then don't roll. Okay. At least I blew my low roll on it. At least you blew you blew your load. Uh let's see, do I have anything I want in from here? Nah, I don't have anything I want from here. Like, I already uh, have the tin of helm, I got that, I got that. Uh, life like mechanical third. I don't care about that. A Nixia head. I got that. Um, God damn it! Oh wait, I want that. That is what I want. There is one thing I want. It's that made flame cloak. I'm going to ask so much if I can get that. Uh, mage flame cloak. Yes. Okay. What are you gonna do with the 
fire. All right, so there's that. Let me think. Warcraft three. I I I like. I I think we talked about that enough. Uh, yeah. How much. Uh, we talked about bye bye hell biker. We talked about the interspecies reviewer for a long time. We talked about the My Hero Academia game banned in China. We talked about the coronavirus for a little bit. There's one more Definitely thing we had a bio planned. Weapon. Yeah. There's one more thing we had planned, but I don't remember what it was. Modded horsecock. No. Why do you keep bringing that up? <laughs> I, I remember Joe bringing it or someone else. Net Netsu? Yes, whatever. All right then. Okay. Do you have anything stuffy? He's left. Why did stuffy leave early? <laughs> did Discord fuck up? No, probably not. Stuffy just is one of those people that are selfish. Mhm. Mm. He if, said it if was it's around... not something he's interested in, he will literally leave midstream and not care about the outro. He did say it was about two AM where he was a while a while ago. Oh whatever. Okay. As if that ever stopped him before. Okay. Uh I'll go we got this took calling you want to make an outro? No, fuck you. All right, and this has been the Yano Otaku signing off. We did Molten Core. We talked about a bunch of relevant topics, and we're signing off. We did Oni, actually decently fast. Should have been faster. I should have been the tank. Should have been a, a lot of things, you know, uh, because we want to get Oni first for Shaman, but, you know, whatever. All right, so Sayonara, Mia-san. I'm gonna get Sayonara, Minasan.